Okay, so I need all of you that ate or drank <clears throat> to roll a fortitude save for me, please. As you see your precious captain fall and start writhing on the ground. <clears throat> Alright, Jared and Justin, roll. Good starts. Good starts. That's the DC. Okay. I uh, Dragona, did you partake as well? Nope. You didn't? I sure, I sure didn't. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. No, I didn't even raise uh, my glass. Yeah, I don't think you did. Go to the tape. So now, Go to the I, tape. I we don't have time to go to the tape. <laughs> so just you two? You two partook? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, called you both New failed. Called New York City. Oh, that's too far away. You both failed, so you both take one point of strength damage. Oh, God. And I now need you guys to roll another save, another fortitude save. Can I drink my antitoxin potion? You can, if you have one. I do. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, shh. Let's take out. So you just, so Secretary is just going to go and drink this potion? Do you guys have any extras for Kabor, or is he just going to be dealing with it? Um, I mean, I don't have any other ones. Scott, do we have anything in our inventory? Hello? Scott died. Okay. Well, rest in peace, Dragonia. Guys, episode's over. It's been fun. <laughs> I told you, if someone died, we, we end it. Stop. Sorry. I forgot my papers. Brilliant. All right. <clears throat> they were asking you if you so have what what's on your inventory, because uh, Sigatrix had one antitoxin, but Kabor's still sick. I have two antitoxins. Oh, nice. You gonna give one to Kabor, too? Sure. Okay. So you guys both That's drank these antitoxins, and you guys both feel remarkably better. You will still have so, a strength damage for 24 hours, but after that, you'll be good to go. <laughs> so, do we have three total, or just two? Three total, because uh, Sigatrix had one. Sounds like we should go save Blood Tusk real quick. So while you guys are doing all this, you see Halrex run over to the captain, look at him, start panicking, and then run to the door and open it up. And she just, she just yells, we have a problem, we have a problem. And she's just screaming top of her lungs. We have a problem. Captain's down, captain's down. And uh, then she runs back into you guys. So you guys are dishing out antitoxins. Yeah. What are you doing with the third one? Dragonia, what do you think we should give to the captain? I mean, I don't really like the guy, so I'll leave that up to you guys. Well, I mean, he was going to go help us kill the ranger, after all. I don't really care. I'll hand it to uh, Sickatrix and let him decide. Okay. Why would you have me decide? I couldn't care less about him. Exactly. I'm just gonna give it to Orak. He's the moral one. All right, I saved the captain with the antitoxin. So you pour it down. So as soon as you try to reach down and pour this thing down his throat, Howrex swipes it from your hand. She's like, "What are you doing?" I'm trying to save your friend. Can I trust you with this? I mean, I am of kin. Why can't you trust of kin? Because. This this is your fault. How is it my fault? She uh she takes it and she pours it down his throat after like doing this weird check on it. She's like, "You, you didn't eat or drink. You knew of this, didn't you? You poisoned the captain." Uh, I had my suspicion. So I feel like uh, it was gonna be a safe one to try as opposed because it was on the ship. So I was not. 
ready to eat. You are not an oracle. You know not of the future. Just Neither because your you. skin matches Neither. mine does not mean that you are one of us. You're not an oracle either. I know, and I partook. Oh, why at the fluff? Say what? I said, why aren't you frothing at the mouth then? Uh, she looks at you. She's like, I'm, I'm well versed in resisting these things. It's been done sounds to like you before. Sounds like you're the one that poisoned the captain. What do you have against him? I would never poison our captain. I've been tortured in the past. What have you been doing? Nothing. No, you sabotaged okay. us. Yeah, yes, I'm the one that's, you know, fixed your railing, fixed your ship, and fixed, uh, you know, the mast and all this shit. So, yeah, you're right. you're right. I'm the one that's sabotaging everything. Of course you fixed our ship. You were learning how to tamper with it more. You're the one who loosened the railing. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. You're right. And as, as you hear this arguing, you see Krothu and Urug come running in. And she looks at him and she's like, you two, wrap him up, tie him up. And, to uh, me, yeah, and then Uruk's like, Captain, we're like, what? What's the matter here? And she, she looks back and she's like, This, he poisoned our captain. Look at him. You see, the captain's still unconscious. And uh, they look back at her, and Krothu's like, Of course, madam. And he comes up to you with rope. He's like, Do not resist, and we can make this easy. I do an intimidate, and I tr- grab him by the throat and slam him on the ground. All right, go ahead and do an intimidate roll. Uh, 22 so as as you reach out to grab him Kroth, you can see kind of like some little bit of fear going through his eyes and then immediately after that um, a 25 against your CMD What's your CMD? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, 18. So, as you reach out to grab him, Urug grabs your hand and pins you against the wall with Halrex holding, holding you from behind. And he's like, why would you do this, brother? Why would you do this? And Krothu wraps you up. So you are now bound in rope. Nice. Hmm. And Halrex looks at the rest of you. Specifically at Dragonia, who also didn't partake. But, uh... Like, you're still in your full regalia, so it's obviously kind of hard for you to eat and drink since you have a helmet on. She's like, He's clearly not the only one here. You all four came together. I cannot trust any of you. That being said, I have no proof about why any of you would destroy or hamper with things. But he... And she looks at Orosh. He we know. Take him down, Dr- boys. Dragonia, 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 maybe she's the one that had the stowaway. Maybe she's the one that helped get the ranger onto the boat. Maybe she's the one that got us all killed the other night. She looks back at you, she's like, shut your mouth, and she slaps you across the face. And then she says to Krothu, gag him. And he takes a, he takes a little bandana that he has and wraps it over your mouth so you can't speak. You know, Halrex, we've been through a lot on this boat. And we have killed many things. <clears throat> I don't think that you really want to restrain anybody on this boat that is part of our crew anymore. Um, considering that we just saved the captain's life. And I've always been kind of suspicious of you. Now I'm going to give you one chance to release our friend. And we will be on our merry way. Or you will risk losing your crew. So she looks at you, she walks up to you and gets you point blank in your face, and she's like, this is my crew, my ship. You do not bark me around. When the captain's down, I am the captain. I will not take this mutiny. And the other two come up to you, and they try to tie you up now. Do you resist (laughs) them? Uh, Yeah, in fact, uh, what is this, the same day? Is this later in the day? Yeah, or it's, so start of it's, the day? N- it's night five. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I will. I will actually uh, threaten before they come up to time up. I will threaten them, and 
in the way and say, if you try to tie me up, I will resist and you will not be able to tie me up. Uh, she, uh, you see, you see her smile at you and she's like, oh, so you, you assisted him as well. I see we figured this out. And she goes to cast a spell on you. Uh, can I cast slumber on, uh, her? Yeah, sure. Let me go ahead and roll. Uh, 17. Oh my god. 15. Her, her save is crap, too. I rolled a natural 16. Okay, wow. so let me see what spell she casts. Alright, she casts the spell Animate Rope. And it... So without them even grabbing onto you, a magical rope comes and binds around you. So you have a reflex save to get out of this. So go ahead and roll a reflex save. Instead of doing a reflex save, can I can I activate an ability? What's your ability? I'm just going to say in a shot and grow big. You're inside <laughs> the small captain's quarters. Like, you would bust through the roof. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you're going to get extremely penalized. You're going to be squished and stuff. <laughs> If I bust through the roof, they still can't bind me, though. This is a magical rope. It still can bind you. It doesn't matter what size you are. Really? Huh. Yes. Uh, so all you do is bust through and you like, destroy the ballista above you. So I have to do a reflex save? Yep. God damn it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what's your bonus? I don't think you got it, but what, you never know. I don't know. Your reflex no. save could be amazing. No. Uh -uh. All right, so you are now magically bound. And after after Cicatrix try to cast that spell on her, she can detect when something's when a mind altering effect is cast upon somebody. You guys can too. And she turns over to you and she's like, "Trying to save your friends, or are you in on it too?" Just thought I'd go for it. She uh she smiles at you and gives like a hearty laugh. She's like, "I like your gall." Now, if you let us be, we'll just send him down to the brig for a few hours so I can think about what's going on. I need to help the captain. I think we've uh, already helped the captain. It all could be part of your plan. I do not know. Well, so, uh, you you can think about it. Okay, so you guys can head out. She kind of points towards out to the door. So you guys can like stay out in the main deck. And Krothu and Urug take Orok and Dragonia down into the cage uh, where the Grion was. So you guys are now both tied down there together. <clears throat> and you guys can hang out like out here. How Rex, how Rex, you will regret this. No, you've already regretted it yourself. Yeah. And she takes the captain and takes him into his quarters. All right, so <laughs> this is, I was not expecting this to happen, but we're just going to deal with it. So these two are going to be down here keeping guard. You two are free, but you guys, uh, I need uh, the two people who are not caged up to roll perception checks for me. You guys are out and about. Nice. Solid. Oh, the blind leading the blind. I love it. <laughs> You guys are both seething with rage, so you can't see anything. All right. Uh, nothing to note. It's just awfully quiet up there. So, what All do you right. guys want to do? It's still the evening. Your friends have now be have been taken down. The party is now split. My favorite. I mean, I think we should go talk to uh, the chef. Okay. You guys want to go confront Goshnok? Can you use your convincing cicatrix? <laughs> I could convince him. You can convince him? Hey, you're gagging. I could try. With your cicatrix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm speaking freely as Andrew, not as no, I know. I'm, I, was just, I was just playing a joke. <laughs> I, I've I never been able to gag one of you before. It's quite enth uh, in, like enthralling. I bet it is. I bet it is. Exhilarating. Anyway. Okay, anyways, yeah, you yeah. guys want to go there. check him out? Yeah. Okay, he, he's, just, he's just in there cleaning up the kitchen, you know, just doing his Your sickle, Your sickle hasn't tasted blood in a while, maybe. It needs. 
<laughs> it might. <laughs> All right. Um, just gonna walk in and kind of see how he's doing. See if he's different than uh, he was before. Yeah. Now you go ahead and roll a perception check, and I'm gonna give you a bonus because you've been with him for a few days. So you kind of know how he acts. Oh, oh my do god. I? No, he he looks just fine. All right. Um. He's not. I'm just gonna ask you also him. don't notice that he's not sick. Hmm. I'm gonna ask him how he uh, liked his meal. You know, he worked so hard on it. I'm sure he tried some of it. So he uh, he looks at you and he's like, "My my meal was fine. I I ate my scraps per usual." Hmm. Do you uh do you do anything different with this one? You know, I know it was a special occasion. You know. Did you try anything new? I mean, I made it a little more fancy, but no, nothing out of the ordinary. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm an, I'm an aspiring chef, and I really enjoyed the meal, you know? Could you uh, expand on some of those spices you may have put in there? Yeah, so he goes into great detail about what he did uh, and tells you, like, every single thing he did about the, the food and stuff, and none of it seems out of the ordinary. So he doesn't seem like put off that I'm asking a bunch of questions nope. about the food. Not a bit. He's just ex- describing you exactly how he did it. Hmm. Alright, can I, like, I'm just gonna ask him about, like, his mood that he was in for a couple of days. You can you can do, like, a sense motive. Yeah, oh yeah, I can. Yeah, don't forget about that. I'll do that. Remember, what do you want to ask sense motive about? Like, his mood, or you want to, like, see if he was lying, or... Um, the food thing, yeah, if he was lying about it. Okay. So I need to roll. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I failed my bluff check. So you know that he was lying about some of the stuff about setting up the meal. So he's, hmm. he 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 sound is to you. It feels like he omitted a few things. Like some things that he put in the meal. Potentially. Or that he did. You you have a, you have a strong sense about it. All right. So. All right. Uh, I'll ask you one more time. What, uh, what kind of stuff you put into that food? Can I do it like an intimidation? Yeah, absolutely. Thing? Yeah, I'll give you a bonus too because you know because you, you know about his. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, right. nice. That, that Plus seven. Nice. So he looks at you like wide eyed and like he starts shaking a little bit, and he's like, "I, I, I may have added a, a few extra things. I, I, I was, I had, I had to. I, I had to." Why did you have to? It, I ha- I had to, and he just keeps saying I had to over and over again, like his mind's like falling apart. Hmm. Did someone else make you? He he looks at you. He looks at you kind of straight faced. He's like, No, it, no, it was me. It was me. Can I sense motive that one? Absolutely. Right. I don't have any bonuses to it. Yeah, well, I'll give you a bonus because you've been freaking him out. But uh, he, to you, it, it feels like he, this was generally his idea. Like, he thinks, mm. he thinks. So that, he thinks it was his idea. Yes, he thinks it was his so idea. Someone could have put it in his mind. Yeah, so he's pretty confident about it being his idea. But since, you're, since you've been intimidating him and all this stuff and you've been sensing mode of him and you've, you know about him and you've been with him for so mm-hmm. long. Yeah, you just feel like, you know, potentially with some arcane ways, maybe you could have made him think that, you know, like Inception style. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So you think that he, you are pretty confident that he thinks it was his idea, but there's something weird. Off. Yeah. All right. Um. Hmm. Can I do a knowledge arcana check? Yes, you can. Go ahead and roll a knowledge arcana. Interesting. Oh. I think his bonus is like seven or, or nine. He's checking his sheet. I should honestly just take a picture of Jared's sheet. That way I can just reference it. 
That would be way Or you can give him something that says like plus. Plus six? I can type it in. So 20. So. You, with your knowledge check, you know that there are some spells that could potentially do this, but you also know that they're really high level. And you don't, you aren't familiar with exactly what they are, but you, you have a strong feeling that this, there could be some spell effect going on here. Hmm. Can I just ask him why? Again? Yeah, like why, why do you do all this? Yeah. And he, he, he keeps saying, I, cause I had to, cause I had to. And then, then he kind of like, you know, kind of shakes out of it a little bit and he looks, he looks at you and he's like, I must protect her. That's what I thought. So someone's in trouble. Hmm. So is the her the one who he's trying to save, like his wife or something? Yeah, you, or have is no, it... you have no idea who it is, but he's doing this to protect somebody. Yeah. But I don't know if it's like he's protecting an innocent person or if he's protecting the person who put the spell in his mind, you know? Yeah, you, you, and there's no way to tell, like, unless yeah. he says so, and he, he's just, like, freaking out, so. Why don't you just ask? <clears throat> if you have an assumption, why don't you just ask? I can ask her, ask him who the her is. Yeah, and he, he looks at you and he's like, I, I cannot say. Must protect her. I cannot say. Must protect her. I cannot say. So he's wigging out. Yep. I think this a sickle to the loin region might be convincing. Hmm. It could be. I don't <laughs> know if torturing this guy is really the best. While you're thinking about that, I want you two um, to roll another perception check for me. Uncaged Who's ones. creeping out? Someone's creeping around. Well, maybe. Nice. <laughs> Alright. The eyes. Never mind. Keep going. Um, I forget what I was going to say. say. Something along the lines of, like, if you want to protect her, then you need to tell us. That way we can help you. Because he doesn't seem like... He's not a very smart person, so pretty easy to convince him. Yeah. I'll be like... You know, you don't seem like the most able-bodied person to protect somebody. You know, we could help with that. He looks at you and he's like, I'm stronger than I look. I will do everything to protect her. Yeah, but you could always use some help, right? No. No help. I cannot have help. Can't have help. Why not? I must protect her. No help. Is she in imminent danger? We're all in danger. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Ask her if she's human. Hmm. Oh, is she a human? He just, he just, he just stares at you and starts crying, just breaking down, crying, bawling. He's like, "We're all in danger. We're all in danger." So it seems like he knows something. In danger from what? All, all he's doing is just saying, we're all in danger, we're all in danger. Like, he's gone mad. He's just saying, we're all in danger, and he won't answer anything else. No, you should probably put the sickle to his throat and then ask him. I think that'll just make him more hysteric. Probably. If he's already but on if the he's edge. the one that's dedicated to protecting her, then he can't die. If he dies, he, he might, Scott, he might be like a Hodor character, though. I don't know what the fuck that is. He hasn't watched Game of Thrones. What? Okay. Yeah, spoilers to all those Game of Thrones people or want to watch Game of Thrones. Scott? All right, continue. I mean, I mean you could just be like, when somebody's that on the edge, pushing them further just isn't going to help. You got to reel them in. He he seems completely and utterly hysteric at the moment, just breaking down. You need to like comfort him. I need to calm him down. But how? All right, can I just ask him if there's anything I can do to help? Yep. Start he, singing. He, he, he keeps he keeps saying we're all in danger. We're all in danger, just over and over again. How do we stop the danger? 
he he just completely ignores you like you're not even there. Oh no. <laughs> I need a diplomacy, not an intimidate. Alright, so while that's going on, we're gonna you guys can think about that. I'm gonna cut over to our two caged fellows. Oh, please do. And they've been locked up. I'm about to smack somebody in the face. And Urug and Krothu are just sitting there, just looking at you. And Urug looks out to you guys, and he's like, "I, I thought, I thought we were friends. I thought we were brothers. I don't understand." And Krothu lo- looks over to him, and he's like, "No, they were traitorous all along. I knew it." And Urug's like, "No, you, you know nothing. I've been with them every day. You don't understand." He's like, "No, it was all the ruse. Us, we are your friends. We are your kin. They are nothing." And Orok just looks like really disappointed. He just he looks at you specifically, Orok, with like these eyes of just like confusion and sadness, and walks away. So he just pieces out, and Crowthu just sits there on top of a barrel and stares at you guys. All right, so now we're gonna cut back over to you guys. So as you guys are asking him, you see that you hear Orok come in, and he sees you too, and he's like, "What's going on here?" Uh, I don't think, uh, Goshnak's doing too well right now. Oh, speaking of that, the crew! And he runs, runs up the stairs. Um. Would a scroll of remove fear work? Uh, potentially. If he's under a fear effect. You don't know. What can I do, like a... What would that be, a spellcraft? How can I tell if he's someone's under the influence of a spell? Uh, well, first you can detect magic to see if there's magic in the area. Okay. Jared, you want to do that? Jared's already doing it. All right, so nice. you don't have to roll or anything for that. So <coughs> you cast detect magic, and you do not feel any magic coming from him, but you do feel magic in the room. That could be the poison as well. Like a magical poison. Or that invisible girl is in the room. Oh, you're right. Um, actually. Hold on, give me a second. Jared's Jared's rifling through his spells, too. (laughs) He's like, what's going on here? (laughs) So, did we get our spells back? Is that what you said at the end of last? Yes. Yeah, I gave you. I shouldn't have, but I did, so it's too late now. Do we have any general sense on where the magic is coming from? No. It's as if it almost maybe the entire room is covered in it. How high are these ceilings? Uh, about 10 feet. Although you're... You, yeah, about 10 feet. Could you do a perimeter spell? Like... Kind of like in uh, Harry Potter where they would like go around the campsite in the seventh book. And they would cast like the spells to like knock people off. Maybe it's the same thing. Like they cast it like around the perimeter of the room. Yeah, we're just spoiling so everything nowadays. All right. So therefore, the effect would be all over. I'm going to. Um. Mm, okay. Jared's typing something. What you got, Jared? Still typing? Oh, he's still typing. So what are you saying? Um, I'm going to cast message to Kabor and Goshnak. Okay. I'm going to tell them to close their eyes. And then I'm going to cast Glitter Dust. Ooh, Glitter Dust. That is an awesome spell. It's one of my favorite spells that is never utilized. All right, so you go, they close their eyes. And you cast glitter dust, Jared. You can keep typing. And this huge, like, what? How? What's the radius for that? Is it twenty feet? I think it's a uh, ten foot radius. Okay, so that's ten feet around you, or around yeah. the spots. That's two squares. So if you do it around you, you can cover almost the entire room, except for like yeah. two tiles. I mean, that's still ten feet right there. Oh yeah, you're right. Because you're the source. Yeah, so yeah. It's like the whole room then. Yeah. So you cast glitter dust, and like this, all of a sudden, this golden glitter just starts raining down as if snow. 
and it covers all of you, and you do not see any weird points of like unusual clarity as if somebody was invisible standing there. That is the perfect okay. spell to look for invisibility, though, and I like your thinking. Hmm. So there's not a magical person here, but there is a magical object Maybe of some out sort. Of room, out of the room. Yeah, we could do that. I can task him. If it's affecting the room, then just leave the room. Can I do detect magic device? Detect magic device? Is that a spell? I think it might be. Detect magic device. Are you talking about like detect magic or magic device? Aren't those two different things? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna go to grab Jared's sheet. I gotta ask him to see if he wants to go for a walk. So Jared got use magic device and detect magic device, but if you want to do a spellcraft check, oh. Jared, go ahead and roll for that. That will th that might tell you. All oh, my light bulbs are dying above me. It's giving me some weird mood lighting, like flickering. What a haunted. It could episode. be something he's wearing as well. Ooh. Nice. All right, so with that's I know your bonus is pretty high, and that's good enough. So with that. You know, you have a faint, um, let me see what school of magic this is, because that's how this works. <laughs> One second. All right, so you detect, you detect illusion magic coming from in this room somewhere, but it's faint. Illusion? Yes. So, like, something is... Hidden exactly, but it's faint as if it was here and now it's not. Okay, huh? Can we see like a time frame, or like does he know a general time frame? Yeah, so he knows that it's been here within the past like 12 to 24 hours. But not sooner than that. No. Well, it could be sooner than that, but it, I mean, from from the decay, you can sense that it's within 12 to 24 hours. It's probably the most likely bet. So that could have been the person, the invisible person. They came up here last night after we fought them, and then... Yeah, Jared's saying it's her. Convinced him, yeah. <clears throat> um, As you guys are sitting here talking, you hear Ura yell uh, from upstairs. I need some help in here. All right. I guess I'll I'll go up there. Where are you going with him? All right. So you guys can head on up upstairs. And upstairs, up there, you see Ura trying to minister help. As you see five, five sick. Orcs, all puking or unconscious. Oh, God, I forgot. <laughs> so, before we started, I rolled a save for every single person. So, if you scroll up on my on the chat log here, you'll see me rolling like a thousand dice. It took a while. So, you see that both uh, Sharg and Tog are unconscious and everyone else is puking. Hey, I'm bound, right? Yes. Can I not cast spells if I'm bound? Correct, unless they, unless they're only verbal components. So if you go to the spell, <clears throat> it'll say components V S M. So V is verbal, S is somatic, which means you have to move your arms or hands. So if you have an if it's so an can, S spell, then you can't do it. So I can cast a V spell. Yes, if it's only V. And can can I can I attempt to escape 
Can I do like an attempt escape? Yeah, you can do an escape artist check to try to get out of the rope. Okay. Um, may I please cast <clears throat> uh, command? Command. Let me look the spell up. On Crowthu. Okay, so that is a verbal only spell. All right, so what and do you, I would like him. So it's a will save. Right? I would like him to. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would like him to flee. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna roll this in person, so you guys can see what the result is. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Oh. And he goes running out of the room. And I whisper to. Or actually, I just, I don't have to whisper. I tell Orok, hey man, try, try to get out of this so we can escape. Okay, so do I roll escape artist, Josh? Yep. <laughs> can I come running up here yeah, and then running back? Uh, nope. 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 You guys are both stuck. All right, so we're going to go. Wait, I, I can do an escape artist check, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Also you guys now. are both stuck. Yep. All right, so we're going to cut back to... Sicatrix and and Kavor. Oh my As god! As they're in there, they see Crows who just come running in full speed, and he looks f like really confused. And once he gets up there, he just sits in the corner, like st it's staring at the corner of the room. You know, like that. Can't run any further. Just, yeah, he's just staring at the corner of the room, like shoulders touching the two walls that are catty corner. He's just staring. So Blair witched. Yeah, exactly. He's just sitting right. there. Just gonna ignore that. Yeah, and Urug's like, "What is going on around here?" <laughs> I think we're being sabotaged. Should have done that. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna cut back down to you two down in in the uh, in the cage, and I need both of you to roll perception checks for me. Awesome. <laughs> 14. All right. Never mind. All right. We're cutting back up top again. God, this is like a bad sitcom. Hey, uh, Josh. Yeah. Am I allowed to like, so I'm, I'm bound. Yeah. Am I allowed to like find like a, if, am I allowed to find like a, uh, like a, I'm in bars, correct? You're behind bars and you're also tied okay. up with rope. Okay, and this is the cage that the Apirian or the ape thing yeah, the jumped out of. The Grian. Yep. Jumped out of. Yep. So obviously, all the bars aren't completely symmetrical, correct? Yes, there are some bent bars. Can I try and rub the rope against the bent bar to try and cut it? Sure. Um... Before you do that, before you do that, I would like to cast Liberating Command. What on Orok? If the target is bound, grappled, or otherwise restrained, he may make an escape artist check to escape as an immediate action. He gains a confidence bonus on this check equal to twice your caster level. So you get plus eight. What? Okay. What? I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to start holding you spellcasters to the actual rule. You guys have to. Yeah, you prep, probably you will. Have to prep your spells the day ahead of time. Hey. I don't have to prep my spells. Yes, you do. The only spells you don't have to prep are healing spells that you can convert. Um, Everybody but Jared has to prep spells. Jared's the only one who does not. That's the whole point of being a sorcerer, is that you don't have to prep spells. That's okay. Fail. That's okay. We'll let this go. This is fun story time. So, what's your caster level? Four? So, that would be a 25. And, Orok, your ropes snap and rip as you're rubbing them apart with this bonus of liberating command and you are now free nice can i ungag myself yes <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you are you oh, sure you don't want to leave it in oh. oh man i think they put a dirty sock in my mouth <laughs> dragon is just standing there still bound it was I actually like a 10 I would like to free Dragonia. All right, so you can untie her, and this rope kind of falls apart. Yep. So you guys look around, and you notice that all your weapons are missing. They're sitting over on the. They're sitting over on a uh, little box, right <laughs> here. 
So about ten right. feet away. Uh, I would like to do a perception check now that I'm unbound. Absolutely. Twenty-three. Anybody else want to do one? Mark, you want to do one too? Who's Mark? I said Orok. That's you. Oh, at least said Mark. I'm like, who's Mark? Mark's not here anymore. I know. That's <laughs> what I was going to get at. Thirteen. All right. So with the twenty-three, you notice that the trap door down here is popped open about one inch. Hmm. What do you want to do, Warlock? You want to go grab our weapons and head on down? What do you need thing? Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, Dragonia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot. I just assumed that with your perception that you had like a 30 or something. Um, this trap door... That we went down the last time over in this corner is open. Like what? It, yeah. Like, is like someone like you think someone's like peeking through and looking at us? I think somebody might be down there. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You're still in the cage, bud. That cage what? I got broke. out. That cage ain't broke. No, you got out of your rope. You're still in the cage. Okay. Uh, can I? Wait, what? The cage was broken. No, they fixed so, it. They were in there for two days. The door all it did, the door was swung open. It wasn't broke. Oh. Um, hey, Josh. Yep. Can I do a survival check to see if I can fashion, like, a, like, lasso or something out of any of, like, the rubble, debris, twigs, anything on the ground? You got plenty of rope that you guys were bound up with. Okay. Let's use the rope. Will fashion like a noose and try and hook my axe. Okay. So pry the door. Pry the door open. Go with ahead. My give, axe. give me a ranged attack. So Dex and BAB. I don't get my bracers. No, it's not an arrow. So Dex and BAB is four. What was it eighteen? Uh, two fourteen. Yep, eighteen. Yeah, so you uh, you successfully lasso around your axe. Awesome. And can I pull it forward? Yep. And you now have your axe. Okay. Can I try and pry the door open then? Yeah. Uh, give me a strength check. Or to save yeah, help you. Can, can, can I help him too and we both roll? Sure. Uh, 12. Nope, that, that door is locked firm. I don't even know what mine is. Where'd that go? I was assuming Dragonia was assisting, so if she would pass a 15, yeah, you'd get a plus 2. But uh, yeah, even still, I you wouldn't make it. So you guys are uh, stuck in this cage. Can I do a healing check to see, like... Do a what check? Like, like blacksmith, so like how it was made, and like see if like there's any like flaws in sure. the cage. Uh, 28. Yeah, so you know that this cage is pretty solidly built. You do see, like, the dents in the bars, you know, from it getting smashed open. But, uh, it doesn't look like it. there's any weak point that you could thrust out of. You need the key. Is there a key laying on the ground? Did Crothu drop it? Did nope, Aura drop it's, it? It's in Crothu's pocket. Mm-hmm. Okay. I see. Uh... Right. So the bars, the bars aren't. Are they? You said the bars are bent, correct? Yeah, just slightly bent though. They're not enough for you guys to squeeze out. Uh, could we further the bending though? Could we like? You can try. Take the axe, take the axe and try and bend it a little more. Yeah, do another strength check. You're gonna, you can assist by pushing your weight against like the axe, like a lever. All right, what's your strength, Dragonia? Uh, I got a fifteen total. Okay, so you assist. So that's another plus two to yours. Andrew. Okay, so I have a 20 total then. All right, so you guys crank and you, you, you can feel like you feel resistance and you're pushing and pushing and you can tell that your axe is about the same strength as the bar, so you would have to break your axe in order to bend the bar. Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, 
Mm. Why don't you try to like? So could I lasso? Could I try and lasso my arrows? Wait, what is this cage made out of? Well, they'll we'll cut back to them. Let's cut back up to the two up top again. You guys think about what you want to do next. All right, so we're back up to Orok and Sicatrix. And you see, you see Crowthu just staring in the corner, like, mindlessly. And you see Urug just frankly trying to help these three people who are throwing up as the two others are unconscious. And he's just staring at you guys like, I, help here, help! I have no idea what to do. No. Don't help them. I don't know if I can actually help them in the slightest. I mean, you could probably, like, wand heal them and it might... You know, well, I mean that doesn't no. cure poison. Um, I mean, I just, I just would flat out just not help them and tell them that you're you not gonna also help know them. where your two buddies got taken to. Yeah, I was gonna tell Kabor to go help them because he can run fast. Plus the key is Do you wanna like in front of talk us. to him or you wanna like whisper to him or how you wanna tell him? Um I'll just talk to him because I'm assuming everyone over here is preoccupied. Yeah, except for Urug, but he's already busy trying to help everyone else. Yeah. Um I'm gonna tell him I'm just gonna kinda like whisper it to try and search I forget that guy's name. Crow him. Too? Yeah. For the key. Because obviously he's he's not well, and I can assume that's well, either our doing or... Yeah, so as you're talking to him about this, you see him stop and turn around, and he runs back down the stairs again. Oh, Jesus. So he's right about here. <laughs> well, um... Can I run after him and cast Slumber? Sure. So you run, run downstairs, and right when he's like leaving the, leaving the galley, he casts slumber. I'm gonna roll this so you guys can see. Natural twenty. Oh my god! And he keeps running. <sighs> you can keep pace with him. You're just as fast as he is. You should have done whole person. I mean, I still can. Can you shock him? I don't want to kill that guy. <laughs> I mean, I probably would. I'd kill him. Can I cast adhesive spittle? Adhesive spittle. I'm going to have to look this one up. I'm definitely making you guys prep spells now. This is ridiculous. Well, that's actually one of the ones I would always prep. If I can okay. prep three of them. Spit a vicious liquid. A oh, viscous liquid as a standard action. Oh, so just it's like a Tanglefoot bag. Yeah. He said you do not have to make a successful attack roll. So just it's just a reflex for partial. So what's partial? Is that for damage? I Sounds like so. a bolo. Reflex partial. Let me see what the partial means. The DCs to counteract this adhesive use the spells DC rather than okay. So yeah, so. So. so if I reflex save it, am I not? Okay, if I reflex save, then he's not stuck, but the spittle stays. So other people can get stuck. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna roll this so you guys can see too. His reflex save is a little bit better than his will save. Here's Natural it. twenty. Dude. And he's still going. John, rolling rocks today, Josh. You know it. Uh, do not spit that out of your mouth. Yeah, you know, he's not gonna go down here. He's gonna go this way. Which way? This way. Why is he going that way? Oh, you can follow. Josh, do I hear the footsteps going around or? No, you and Dragon are too busy talking to each other about what the crap to do and just trying to smash open. Iron boards and stuff. You don't hear any of this commotion. Yeah, I'll... This is going at the same time you guys were trying to lasso your axe. Okay. I'll, I'll well, chase him down. Just come downstairs then. Yeah, I'll yell at him to go try and help. 
because he can get down there in about two seconds. All right. Sold. All right, so he's going to keep running this way. Kabora, you can start heading down. And as you guys are chasing him, so you see him barge into where Halrex is and close the door. Uh, can I try and listen in? Yeah. You want to try to open Sneakily. the door? Sneakily. You don't even know if he's... Or you just want to well, stop the door and act like you're not chasing him. Does he know that I was chasing him? I mean, he can hear footsteps behind you. Behind him. I guess I'll open the door. Okay, it's locked. Well, that was a good attempt. <laughs> can I try and, like, listen in? Yes. And you press your ear to the door, and you hear the camera pan down to Kabor as he's running down. <laughs> <laughs> And Fork him sprinting down. That mechanical sound. <laughs> and as you guys are trying to lasso and break open, he just walks in, Kabor walks in, and he sees you two, like, with Orox axe just prying there, just looking like a bunch of ding-dongs. And Kabor's just standing there staring at you. You want to say anything funny, Jared? D? I guess. Fireball. You. Suck and... me. <laughs> Is that, is that, you like that better, Jared? All right, Jared's already cracking up laughing when you say "fucking." All right, so he says that. We'll just—I don't want to make Jared type it all out. So okay, okay, cool. And he's just staring at you guys. Thanks, Kalor. Appreciate it. <laughs> so what you guys want to do? You know, you, you, have your buddy you know right if there. you behave, if you behave yourself, we'll find you a alert, dirty little wench to have fun with. But for now, <laughs> can you open the fucking door? <laughs> <laughs> so he runs over to the door and he notices that it's locked and he tells it to you guys he's like guys it's locked yeah no shit Sherlock then why'd you have me try to open the door <laughs> <laughs> like, burn, it your hands. burn it burn the lock you, you can melt, melt it. it you gonna try to burn the lock Jaren alright I don't think you have a spell that can get hot enough the melt metal yeah, because really? you need a specific spell to, to try to just make heat. Otherwise, you can just light light wood and stuff. Otherwise, all of his spells would set literally everything he touches into flames. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he needs to no get at about this. 2,750 degrees. He can, he can reach not only your weapons, but the weapons hanging on the wall, as this is also the armory. Including some axes and stuff just hanging there. No, just give him one of those, and then he can break a random axe. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And he goes and he grabs an axe or two, and he th puts them between the bars and hands with you guys. All right, go ahead and make another strength check, you two. Because I'm need, going to need at least a 20 again. Oh! oh okay. All right, we'll, we'll use Jedi's uh -oh. just for flavor's sake. I don't, you have <laughs> been there for 40 years. And you guys break this axe, and as you do, you like hear, Kating! and one of the bars breaks free, and that's enough for you guys to squeeze out of there. Nice. So you guys Thank you, Kabor. Yeah, he says, "Suck me again." Oh, no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm five seconds away from wanting to burn this whole boat down. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna pan back to back to Cicatrix's ear as he listens in. Go ahead and roll a perception check. He's been going well all night. Oh Oof. god! Oof. And you you hear Crowthu like walking around, and then you hear him knock on the captain's door, and you hear a very distinct knock. Like it's it's definitely a pattern. Like a pattern, like, coded, yeah. Like coded, yeah. yeah. And then you hear the door swing open, and you hear <clears throat> Halrex talking to talking to Crowthu, and he's like. They're, they're trying to escape. I, I'm doing everything I can, but I, I feel like they're trying to kill us all. I don't know what to do. And she, she says back to him, yes, they have to be the cause of all this. This is there's All these weird things are happening only when they're here. Just try to keep them at bay for as long as you can. I don't want to kill them because I, I, I don't think that that's, violence is necessary, but they're, they're definitely the root of this. He's like, yes, I know. I, I haven't trusted them from the beginning, but uh, they seemed okay. I don't, I don't understand. She expects like well, the captain's real bad. I, I need to keep I need to keep my healing going, so just keep them at bay for as long as you can. And you hear him. He's like, okay. And you hear him coming back towards the door. So what do you want to do? Um, run and hide. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and move. 
And he comes bursting through the door, and you see him sprint. Oops, brought up a menu. You see him start sprinting towards the downstairs. Uh, I'm going to chase him. Okay, he, he doesn't even notice you. So he comes back downstairs, and by the time that he's, like, halfway down here, you guys are, like, already heading back out this direction. So he's, like, halfway in the room, and now he, he looks at you, he's like, wait, stop, how'd you guys get out? What do you want to say to him? I'm coming right for you. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to yell, they think we did it, don't hurt him. And he, he turns around and he's like, oh, oh. And he, he, you can see he, he starts panicking and he pulls out his weapon. And he, oh, he starts God. yelling. He's like, stand down, stand down. This doesn't need to go to violence. You're right. It doesn't. So put your weapon Those away. Are, the only way this does not go to violence is if you come back into this room that we were in and into the cage and you stay locked in the cage until we can find out what is going on and why Hal Rex wants, wants to do all this stuff and all the shaky things about the person in the, in the, what's that thing called? What's the below deck? The build. The, yeah. And the, in the build room and why everybody got poisoned you need to stay in this cage, or else it will get violent. Like, you know, you just broke a hole in the cage, right? Yeah. Well, he doesn't know that. Yeah. He he said, "No, I refuse to let you hurt the captain any further. It is my job to protect him." And We're he, not he, trying to hurt the captain, but with everything that's going on, either you work with us to find out what's happening, or we will all force you into the cage, and you will stay there until we do. All right, go ahead and roll a diplomacy check as you're trying to reason with him. Okay, hold on. Okay, so zero bonus. Awesome. Nice. He, he, he just looks at you, and he's just like, I, I, I can't trust you. I have my orders. I, I don't want this to come to violence. Hey, Kabor, or do you guys want to, like, move, move up, like, near me? In this, it's just, it's like Wild West here. We got two guys in the back of one end of the hallway, one guy the other, end, <laughs> two guys with their both their pistols out aimed at each other. It's high noon. Um. All right. I'll do it on the. Hold you. I'll do it in um, real quick. As we leave the area, I'm going to take some. I take the lasso that I created. Okay. Go this way. I'm going to do an intimidate check on him. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, 10, never mind. I'm not going to. So, Josh, can I, like, sneak this way without him noticing me and then oh, try and lasso, lasso him over here? There's no way that he's, you're not, he's not going to be able to see you. He's staring right that way. Okay. All right. Can I try and intimidate him then? Yeah, well, you want to him. Get him turn around? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just need to distract them. Well, what did you say? I said, all right, you need to work with us or we're going to tie you up. We're the good guys here, but we can turn bad, as you probably know. I'm just going to try and... How's that? Go ahead and roll. That's fine. Go ahead and roll. <coughs> nope. All right, so he's now, he's now facing... That's a 16. All right, yeah, he's still not buying it. So he's now facing mm. this way, so he can he's kind of like straddling both of you. That way he can like turn to face either one of you at a moment's notice. And he kind of takes a step back. So now he can see both of you <coughs> like with them. He's well trained. But you can see he's he's starting to like freak out and he's really nervous cuz he's now outnumbered 4 to 1. <laughs> mm. I'm going to move there. Guys, we just gotta knock him unconscious somehow. Like, slumber him. Can't. Uh. Can we, like, Josh, is is there an ability? Do we have to have an ability to, like, 
hit him with like the pommel of like our weapon just to knock him unconscious or uh, is that can, an untrained any weapon, any weapon you can use to go for an, un, an unconscious like to go for non-lethal damage but it's a minus four to hit okay that means we still have to take down all his health then right no or you just gotta do i mean you just you know their hp is 15 so if you can do 15 non-lethal damage to him then he'll just go unconscious at full health it's a lot yep I mean, 15, I could probably do it in one. If I can hit, I could probably do it in one. Remember, if you, if you strike one of these guys, that's going to just condemn you. Like, you attack one of the crew, that's going to make you guys look horribly bad. Yeah. All right, who's this guy? Krothu. He's the one who sits in the stables and has been staring at you guys this whole time. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him. I'm going to be like, your entire crew is poisoned upstairs and we need to help them now this isn't helping them we need to work together before they all die uh go ahead and roll a diplomacy check on them oh good i'm definitely the diplomatic one <laughs> that's just a 13 uh he uh he's still not buying it or right, do you want to you want to get up here and like uh and and, and i what the heck like was that? Or something? Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you guys seemed like you wanted to take control of it, so I mean, I just kind of let it go. Well, well I mean, we were failing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to go this way, yep. creep along. Yeah, he sees you. Okay, that's fine. And I said, uh, then I say, like, I know you don't think I'm part of your kin anymore, but the, there is a whole brotherhood upstairs that need our help. We I really will. do. Go ahead. We really do need to work together, as the the masked one did say. We also have a place downstairs that we need to be. Uh, we need to go check out because we have a hunch that there is another. There is a per- way. There is a stowaway still lurking ab- on board that is causing all this mayhem. Okay. Um, I need you to roll a diplomacy check, and I need Kabor to roll a, di- uh, a perception check for me. Oh, he's about to get backstabbed. So that's just a that's just a flat eighteen. Yeah, well, I mean, flat eighteen. You guys have been yep. wearing him down. I've been keeping track of his friend friendliness meter here. At right, Kabor, you see Jack squat. But uh, he looks at you and he's like, he's he's like, uh, he, he, you can see like he's really fighting, you know, like the angel and demon on each shoulder, like what what to do with this. And he puts his weapon and sheathes it, like puts his weapon down and sheathes it. He's like, I, I don't like this, but I need all the help I can get. My our crew, my brothers are dying. And he stands down. All right, so now we need to get him upstairs. Well, he's waiting for you guys to stand down. All right, I, yeah, I, 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 I put my weapon down. I never had my weapon out. Dragonia's been threatening him profusely. <laughs> um, I'm going to I'm going to keep my weapon out for now, and I would like to say to him this: Are you going to work with us or against us? And, we already uh, said he was working with us. And he looks at you and is like, I, I I, need your help, but you don't want it. And he looks at you three and he's like, I do not trust this one. I will work with you three, but not her. Nice. All right, I'm just going to tell Dragoni to put her sword away. What do you do? I don't. I mean, I don't really want to put it away. Then don't. Well, I didn't stand in the back. Uh, hold on. Be the watchful eye from the back. Crossy, let me ask you a question. What do you want? People are dying. Yes, we are fully aware. 
are are you going to betray us? Are you going to hand us back over to Halrex? Or are you going to help your brethren survive whatever has caused this? He looks at you and he's like, are you daft? I've already said that or my brothers need help. Screw Halrex. Why are you we, being we, so why are you being so Kurosu. aggressive? Could we go with haste. So you pronounced you already announced your loyalty. We go with haste. And he, so we storm out. Yeah, he points at her he points at Dragon and he's like, She stays down here. Uh, I don't I don't think so. I, I will be going with you guys. He's like, I I refuse She will stay with God. She, Go ahead. Will, we are up, we, once we are above ship, he, she will stay with Gosh, not in the galley. No, she stays down here. I do not trust her. I mean, I don't think anybody here trusts you either, Krothu, so either we all go or none of us goes. I offered peace and you denied it. You stay down here or nothing gets done. You're, you're, going, you're, going, in, you're, you're going in. Stay in right here and we'll be right back. Dude, I'm not staying down here. I will tell you that I'm not staying down here. I'm I'm just gonna be like, well, it's your brethren who are dying right now, so I, I cannot risk her li- I cannot risk her lives further with her messing things up. She stays down here. Well I'm doing not, nothing will risk it even more. I'm not so. tying her up. This isn't a difficult request. All she has to do is stay down here. That has a high potential of her dying from the stowaway, which we have fought once. That I have yet to see. That is true. In any case, she can come running up if she sees a stowaway. She stays down here. Well, they did turn invisible the once. That you and Halrex probably planted on the ship. That stowaway. I planted nothing. See, she sows bad thoughts. She stays down or we all die. No, it'd just be your brethren who die, so... Alright, he pulls his sword out again. God damn it, you fucking guys. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna be bullied by one fucking orc. No. No, no, no. That's, I know that you're against that, Andrew, but I will not be bullied by some orc. No, you're being being completely dense right now, but it's fine. I'm not uh, gonna, would, you, would anybody else want to stay said, dude, dude, No, I said stand right the fuck here. That's all I wanted you to do, is stand right the fuck there. Then you, you could have gone up the... You said I can't go up the stairs. Yeah. So either... You, then, you, then you interjected and didn't let me keep elaborating and working on him like I did, you know, and we got it down eventually, but it's fine, you know. Fine, we're just wasting time. It's, it's all right. <laughs> I'm just gonna go upstairs. Yeah, he lets you run. Away. He lets you peace out, but he's he's still sword drawn, staring straight at Dragonia. I'm gonna go check on the the people since I did just kind of bolt out of there earlier. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cut to uh, we're gonna leave you two down there for a second since you guys are in stare down, and we're gonna cut back up to Cicatrix and Kabor running up, and when you get up there, you see. You see Urug just covered in puke and what looks like maybe blood or something. Like he he looks messed up and now three of them are unconscious. And it looks like Urul, uh, one of the three who was sick because Tog was unconscious. I believe that's what he said. If not, it's the other way around. doesn't matter. Um, is now looking okay and is now helping his, trying to get his brother, brother conscious as Urug works on the two people who are still puking. All right. Um, is it? Did we see the? Was she gosh knock as we were running by? Yeah, he's just sitting. He's just sitting crying down there. All right, I'm gonna tell everyone that I'm gonna go see if gosh knock has anything to help with this. Everyone's like, hurry! I I fear that we're losing one. And I'm gonna run down and see if gosh knock has anything to help with the whatever was in the food. And he, he's just sitting there crying. And you, you ask him that? Yeah. He's just like, no, danger's coming. We're all doomed. Danger's coming. We're all doomed. Mm. With my knowledge of the kitchen that I've gained. Yep. Anything that I could have, could think could help with these No, you don't have situations. The, you don't have the herbals, like the herbs needed to form an antidote. And you guys already used all the ones that you had, so. Yeah. If you had, maybe if you had one, you could try to deduce the ingredients to try to make a copy, but they're all gone. 
Hmm. Well, I have a potion of poison. Can I try and reverse engineer it? <laughs> Do you have uh, craft alchemy? No. Then no. Huh. I think puking right now would probably be in their best interest to try and get the toxin out. Because I think the people who are passed out. Yeah, he's not trying to get them to stop puking. He's just trying to do everything he can to make them feel better. Because yeah. after they puke for a while, they fall unconscious. <clears throat> as you've now seen, another one is falling unconscious. Could we uh, heal them once, and then they will like be stabilized, if you will? Uh, I don't think this poison it, causes physical damage that a healing would fix. It's, it's probably strength damage or something. Yeah. Actually, it is strength damage. It is strength damage. And if they fall unconscious... Once anything hits zero, right, then you die. Uh, I think with strength you just become paralyzed. I know, I know. There's a couple that I think constant. Once con hits zero, then you're dead, obviously. But I think um, they just become paralyzed. I'll just like you get some buckets and stuff and some water to try and help. Okay, him. perfect. And you like hand some to Kabor, and he comes. He kind of like yeah. It. All right, so you guys are now assisting them. I'll now give them some bonuses on their saves. I'm going to cut back down to Dragonia and Orok and Krothu. And he's got his weapon drawn. And he looks at you, Orok, and he's like, Brother, go. Let me fight this man to man. I will not have you two fight. Then tell your friend to stand down. My weapon is currently put away, Krothu. Your weapon was drawn. Why did you put it away? <laughs> No, I, I put it away after I said all that stuff about let's go up, and I put away my weapon. I did not hear that. I did not hear, I that, hear either. that either. I did. You can you can go back and listen to it. Uh, well, I don't think it re if none of us heard it, that means it probably didn't go through Discord. Yeah. Well, either way, he still doesn't trust you because you were, you were just being so stubborn instead of just putting your sword away. And he's just like, brother, go. I will stay here and watch her. I mean, or I, can I, can't, I, I can't let that can go happen. Go. I can I can handle myself down here if he's if he's worried about me instead of his instead of his crewmates and his brothers and let that just let it be. We'll hang out here and have a good time. And if the yeah. stowaway pops up, at least there's two of us to hold him off. If that's what you desire, that's what he desires. So we should. We should honor that, and him and I can stay down here. As you wish. And I am f and I run off. All right, so he, he's just standing. He's not moving at you or anything. not being threatening to you at all, Dragon. He's just staring weapon drawn at you. And he looks, he looks extremely mad uh, and nervous. All right, so you guys are just now standing there staring at each other. So we're going to cut back up to Orok. Sense motive real quick. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm surprised you guys didn't do that ages ago. Uh, and I'm just looking to see if if there is like a uh, malicious intent behind yeah, like, the like way. Yeah, like he's like part of the uh, part of the problem here. Yeah. 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 So with that, what's your bonus to sense motive? It's a twenty-seven total. Holy God! Okay, so with that, uh, with that, you're pretty sure that he is a hundred percent confident that you're the cause of all this, and he's just doing whatever it takes to save his friends. He's willing. He's willing to put down his life to stall you enough so that way his crew might have a chance to get back up and fight back. Okay. Uh, here's what I would like to do. I would like to uh, uh, do a diplomacy check. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll for it. Uh, so it's it's just, a, it's just a flat nine, but we're still going to go for it. Okay. I, I appreciate the effort. What do you say? I'm gonna, I can give you a bonus if you say the right things. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take off my sword and uh, like s put it on the ground and slide it towards him. Okay. I'm going to take my crossbow off and slide it towards him. And I'm going to say, listen, I don't know what's been going on on this boat. But I can guarantee you that it is not directly caused by us. We have noticed some interesting things happening on the boat. But we are part of the solution, not part of the problem. And I can sense that you only want what's best for the crew. 
And I think right now, us standing down here does not solve anything. I think we need to go up there and the bond that I have formed with uh, your crew, the your brothers, is is a valuable one and one that I think that we should continue. So I say that we stop this and we go up and we make sure that we don't lose anybody. All right, so he, he stares at you for a second and he's like really taking the words in. He's really enamored by what you're saying. And he looks down at the two weapons that you slid towards him and he puts his weapon back in the sheath and he bends down and picks up your sword and he walks over to you and he hands it out to you and he's like, Let's defend what's left of the honor on this ship. Let us go. I offer my hand out for a handshake. Yeah, and, and he accepts it. And you can see he's really nervous. Like, he's sweating profusely. But he, he knows that, you know, you guys might have your differences. But, you know, nothing is going to get solved with you guys bickering. And he uh, he kicks over your crossbow to you and he bolts up. Now, while he's running away and you're picking up your crossbow, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh, thank, oh god. thank god. Finally. <laughs> fucking god. Okay. So with with that down at the very end of the hallway, so over oops, let me get my arrow. Over here, you hear a faint giggle, like some low-key laughter. And then you hear like a as the door closes. Okay. That's all you that's all you hear. Can I decipher what type of giggle that was whether it was like definitely a feminine giggle gotcha okay any species i mean something or, i can speak it was a human it was a human giggle there you go <laughs> i'm gonna uh, like to guess all right so can we you... guess a uh, class possibly ranger <laughs> <laughs> so you guys peace up and uh as you guys as you guys walk in there uh dragonia and crothu is walking to the kitchen uh, oh, okay. he, he you can uh, drill and head down there because he's gonna need you. He goes over to he goes over to Goshnock and he's, he like kind of grabs him by the lapel. He's like, "What have you done?" And he kind of like throws him on the ground, <clears throat> and then he points towards you to go and he's like, "Grab these supplies." And he points to a couple herbs and stuff, and he's like, "I think this might work." And uh, he grabs a couple other things and he runs upstairs. I'll follow with him. Okay, so you guys come up there. <clears throat> so you three are now working on the people that are... The three of you that are already up there are working on the people who are... Uh, you know, they're sick. And you see you see Crothu and Dragonia come up with these weird supplies and stuff. <clears throat> and Crothu takes all this stuff and he's like, Please, let me have this. Uh, pointing to, to you, Dragonia. Yes. Yeah, and, and, Take uh, it. <laughs> Orok must be like eyes... Like, like silver plates because now these guys are working together hand in hand. <laughs> it's extremely confusing for what you just witnessed. And, I have like uh, a, I have like a dirt face on. <laughs> he's like, "What is happening?" And you see, he starts making like this weird paste. Um, so let me go ahead and roll a couple things real quick. Oh my god, I rolled a natural twenty. Okay, so he uh, he starts making this paste and he starts giving it to all the crew members that are sick, and you can see that they all like stabilize. The people who are unconscious stay unconscious, but you can see like they're not convulsing and their sweating goes down. And the people who are puking, like, look super fatigued, but they're they're okay. Good. And then he looks over to you guys. He's like, I, I do not reveal my secrets often, but this is a necessity. And then he uh, he takes some some of the leftover paste and he starts bolting back downstairs again. Oh, so he's like a uh, herbologist. I see. Does anyone want to follow him or are you guys going to stay up there? Team, before, we go, before we go, team, I'd like to just tell you that uh, Crothu and I had worked out our differences um, in in our rush on heading up to assist you guys. The uh, there was a devilish giggle coming from the uh, trap door. Oh my god! Are you serious? So she's out and about. So, so Dragonia, Dragonia, what do you think? Should we go help Crothu and see what the captain's doing, how the captain's doing, or should we go and uh, get vengeance on the giggler? 
I think it'd be smartest to go see how the captain is doing, get them on our side, and then go check down. Okay. The, ma the masked one is right. I think with our newfound um, kinship. Yeah, we should we should make sure that the crew is safe, um, and then go from there. So let's head down there with him. With haste. <laughs> All right, so when you guys get down there, you don't see him anywhere. Well, you we probably assume that he went to the captain's quarters. <laughs> Dragonia's now flung herself off the boat. I cast Levitate on Dragonia. <laughs> get back! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys come up to that door, and it's unlocked. And you guys can all see right, the doors uh, of the captain's quarters are also unlocked. Oh, What's they're all going? unlocked? All Let's unlocked. All right, all so right. I can finally reveal the very last part of the ship. <laughs> Boom. Whoa. It's a bed. Wow, wow. And you see, you see Krothu is administering aid along with Halrex, who's like doing some weird tune with her drum. She's kind of humming while she's doing it. Interesting. So they're just both in there administering aid, and Blood Tusk is unconscious. So what you guys okay. do? How's the how's the captain Carthu? Uh, he looks at you. He's like, I, I worry for his health. He's he's not well. What can we do to assist you? I I feel like I have everything that I can do under control, but uh, as you said. There must be a culprit to all these problems inside the ship. I need you guys to figure out who it is and eliminate them. And how uh, is still like, yes, humming her sweet tune? Krothu, is there any we... way we can get some help to go down into the build room? You can ask anybody of the able crew, mo able crew, but uh, I don't know. They look pretty beat have. up. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys are strong enough to uh, to take it on. Definitely weren't last time. Um, I don't know. Can I don't know I, what else I, we can, can really do. Can I do a perception check and look inside the captain's quarters? Yeah, I mean, you got, you you all can see in there. So go ahead and roll. I have anyone who wants to roll a perception check, go for it. Oh my god! Twenty-seven. All right, don't even worry about it. Oryx got you covered. So you can see that this room is uh, it's pretty plain. He does have like a a painting of some weird orc woman on. On the wall, you don't know who it is, and uh, you see a chest next to his bed that is closed and presumably locked. And that's about it. He's got a nice bed in here; it's pretty fancy, and it's uh, it's it's wide enough for two people. Interesting. Uh, probably Halrex. Anyway, uh, so is there anything that can help us defeat the ranger downstairs? In there, like any potions, poisons, nothing, nothing that you can see. Okay, all right, Dragonia, what do you think? Should we go down or should we get assistance from the crew members? I mean, I don't think any crew is gonna be up to help us. No, I don't think so either. So, we're gonna have to brave this one ourselves again. Yep. All right. Probably. Should we press on? I guess. Okay. I mean, unless anyone here has any potions or spells that they could help us with. Uh, uh, they're, all, they're all busy. I mean, unless you're talking about like Halrax and stuff, she's busy trying to keep yeah. the captain alive. Well, could we do like a, a heal spell on them to... You know, make sure he doesn't die, and then maybe she could help us. Uh, I mean, you can try to do the spellcraft check to see what she's doing. Uh, yeah, can I do that? Yeah, Jerry can too. Uh, 19. Oh, Jerry's believe 21. All right, so you can tell that she's doing a bardic performance to raise his, raise his strength and con. And she also is repeatedly casting Stabilize over and over again. Interesting. Because he's constantly dying. So. But I guess the poison will stop his 
Or the antitoxin will stop his poison. At least you hope. Let me see if she has any other cool spells. No, she's doing cure light wounds, but that's not obviously doing anything. Uh, nope. That's about all she's doing. Alright, well. We probably can't help him anymore. Alright. Can I do... Can I do a heal check on him to, like, see if I can inform them of any information that might be helpful? Uh, sure. Uh, uh, 24. Yeah, so you, you don't know what this poison is, so there's, I mean, despite you knowing that he's for sure poisoned, you, you really can't assist in any other, other way, shape, or form. Okay. So what do you guys want to do? I'll probably go down and kill that woman. Kabor, do you, would you like to go light her on fire yet again? Can Jared so can I said no. He doesn't want to light her on fire. Alright. Can I cast a zero level spell? Uh, detect poison? Yes, you can. Jared, what are you saying? No what? And it's a DC 20 with check. H. To determine. Okay. I'm going to go pee real quick yeah, before we do it. You don't know who it is. So what does that, Josh, what does that mean? For... A DC, a, you can determine the exact type of poison with a DC 20 wisdom check. Does that mean I have to get a nat 20? Uh, it, you roll a you roll a wisdom roll and then so you add your wisdom bonus to that. But yeah, you'd, oh, have, to, so you'd have to just break twenty. So I don't think an eight plus your wisdom is gonna get you, get you there. No. Okay. So you're, no. yeah, you don't you don't know you don't know what the crap this is. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. What are you guys doing? Cast major. All right, Jared's mage armoring himself. He's good for the next four hours or something ridiculous. He's All ready, right, he's ready to fight. Let's go. Alright, hold up. As you guys get down to below deck, which, uh, let me make sure I have this correct. Um, yeah, once you guys get down to, like, right where Dragonia is standing, I need you guys to roll perception checks. Alright, where'd we go? Justin, you you be about here. These guys should be backed up. Why Twenty-two. You? You Back it up. Where? Here? Yeah, we're right behind Virginia. Okay. Twenty-two. Anyone beat that? Well, I don't think I can. Okay. So with a with a twenty-two, you can hear what sounds like footsteps coming inside the room you're in right now. Be alert, everyone. I hear something. Can I cast uh, Aspect of the Falcon, Josh? Yep. Okay. What the H is that? It's my Keen. Yeah, Keen's his bow. Permanently? Or like for rounds? or For like four hours. Yeah, let me... Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Aspect of the Falcon. I am up to like 70,000 tabs again. It lasts for four minutes. I mean, so that's the whole fight, pretty much. Yeah. If the fight's now. If the fight's up here, yeah. All right. Okay, at least then can I say, who are you and what do you want with us? You hear no response back. 
to be expected. You wanna say it again? I know you're in here. There's no need to play your petty games now. All right, so you hear from the very far end of the room uh, this small voice, and she says, I will meet you downstairs once again. And you hear, ka-chink, as the trap door gets closed. All right, y'all. Ready? No, I really don't want to go fight this girl. Well, I don't either, but we kind of have to. Remember, she's already injured. Yeah, did she stay injured? Did she heal herself? Did uh, I'm just saying, she's not at full health. Okay. Let's just go so I can go ahead and die and get this over with. Hey, I mean, we both almost died, so it's going to happen again, Scott. All right, so who's going down first? How long does it take for Slumber to be cast again? 24 hours. It's been 24 hours, hasn't it? Uh, No, you guys fought her at 5 a.m. this morning. It's still uh, the same day, isn't it? Still, yeah, it's still it's like late night, like 11 so, o'clock. Oh, man, dicks. Dicks. Okay. All right, who's going first? I'll go first. All right, you just I'll go rip second. Open, rip open the hatch. Yep. All right, no traps. <clears throat> Proceed down. Who wants to be the first person to... All right, you perception in down there? Yeah, 17. Uh, You don't see anybody in this room. You don't hear anybody, nothing. With my uh, craft traps, can I detect... Detect any what? Traps. No traps in this room that you okay. can see. Is this door open? It is closed. So you, uh, okay. Are you coming down? Yeah, just waiting for tile space. Uh, the door up here is closed, team. Well, make a perception check on it or craft traps. Check on it and see if we're. Uh, Josh is resetting all the traps. Yeah, guys. Yep. It's to be expected. Okay. Uh, somebody with trap knowledge. Come and do this. Trap man. Okay. It's the trap man. Alright, can I. And fully check the door, see if the, she put another thing on it. You may de- indeed check the door. Go ahead and roll. Get out. So is that perception, or would that be a traps check? What would... uh, perception's fine. 14. Uh, yeah, you don't see any traps there. Okay, can I nudge the door open very gently? Yep. And can I have my bow at the ready? Yep, you kind of kick the door open. Yep. And when you kick the door open, nothing goes off. But you do see this sitting right in front of the door. Dead snake? Yep. Guys, look out. The dead snake's there, so make sure like no blood is... You don't step in any blood, so you can't like mark your footprints or anything. She could have put a trap in the snake. Maybe. Can I take my water skin, Josh, and drop it in the middle of the snake? Yeah, just kind of like try to see if it like sets off anything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you just kind of chuck it. It's only five feet, so it won't make, won't make you roll it. You kind of just drop it on the snake, and <coughs> nope. No traps or no nothing. Snake's just dead sitting there. Okay. Kick it in the water. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to fling it in the water. All right, so you just step... Do you kind of, like, step in front of the doorway to kick it out? Yeah, just, like, right there, and then just nudge it into, like, the water over here. All right, and as you go to kick it into the water, uh, you hear a foom. This arrow goes flying at you. Everyone roll for initiative. Woo! 
Roll mine. Nice. Nice. You guys are rolling it. <sighs> you all ready for round two? Yeah, I'm already in the front again. So I can be the meat shield again. That's what happens when you don't have a tank. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm like sitting with you. Okay. Yeah. Um, why is there... You can have what it. The... You asked for I didn't me. mean to do that. Well, now it's yours. Have fun. I don't want it. Well, too bad you're stuck with it. Out. The only way you can get rid of you... them is if someone asks for one, so you have fallen for my trap again. Mwahaha. Alright, uh, Sigatrix, what'd you get? Uh, 21. Okay. Uh, Dragonia. Hold on, I can... 13. Kabor. Got it. 21. Uh, who's got a bigger bonus? Uh, mine's 7. Uh, Jared's only 6, so you beat him. Ooh, and correct. Rock, what'd you get? 5. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna write down our new initiative order as we go. Alright, so you first surprise round. Say what? Warrock, your initiative is only plus two. Oh yeah, it's not good. Jeez. Um, I guess I can just modify it. now. I'll make a new one. Let me uh. Let me. Because I don't have one. a. I don't have. I don't have a modifier. I just have my dex bonus. Okay. So, I'm gonna roll to hit. Uh, and miss. So you missed on that initial volley. So round one. Sickatrix, you're up first. Oh, I'm glad I'm in the back. Um. Can I just cast? Uh. uh guidance. On him. Uh. Jergonia, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, because it's a touch. Yeah. Yes, your spells reset, Jared, so you're fully stocked with flame. Alright, Kabor, you're up next. You want to squeeze past us? Where you want to go? Go like... Standing on the dead snake <laughs> spot? Okay, I guess I can move the snake into the water. You're gonna stand front and center, Jared? He's got his mage armor on. He's feeling he's feeling uh he's feeling good. Or just stand right there, Jared. In the water. Well he can't see into the room if he's standing behind the door. It's so, like here or here wouldn't work. He'd only be able to see like right here and right here. Okay. Oh, I should probably reveal her since she shot an arrow. Is she all the way at the other end? Of course. No. <laughs> what make you think such things? All right, what would you want to do? Oh, he's setting up typies. 85 feet away, I don't think there's really anything you can do. He has a couple hundred plus feet spells. Serious? I don't know, Acid Splash has got some reach on it. Let's check that out. The, go the Old Faithful for Jared. Oh, never mind, that's only 45 feet. Nope, 35 feet. That's pretty terrible. Jared's madly moving papers over there. I don't know what's going on. What you doing? I think isn't magic missile hundred feet? Uh, I can look that up. But uh, I'm tying the way. Not, I, I don't think magic missile. I think magic missile. You just need to be able to see them. Yeah, that's yeah, hundred twenty. Yeah. 
cast magic missile. Uh, Jerry was already on, already typing it. He was way one step ahead of us. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll two d four. That's an automatic hit. Yes, magic missile is an automatic hit. Never have to roll. Wow. Wow, that's uh pretty amazing balls. Yeah, I mean it's not the most amazing damage in the world. It's one d four plus one. But it's guaranteed. But it's guaranteed. Yeah. All right, so that's four. And that's three. So seven points of damage. Is it one d four plus one? Yep. Twice. It's pretty good. Yep. It's Tony gets more missiles. He gets one d four plus one for every two caster levels. So. One at level huh. one, two at third level, three at fifth level. So he, once he levels up, he'll get another one. And then four at seventh, and then maximum of five at ninth or higher. Okay. That's pretty Next good. Is Dragonia. Me? Yep. My turn. Ooh, um, while you're standing there, now, now go back five feet, uh, you're gonna have to go ahead and roll a reflex save, as you've just triggered a trap. Oof, you are now entangled, nice. and you are stuck there until either you t cut yourself out as a full round action or someone else does. Now, these traps are a little bit more shoddy because you didn't have nearly enough time to prep them. But uh, you you are now stuck there. And since you've already moved, you can't full round action. So Shoot you know, her with a crossbow. You can do a verbal spell. I know you have those. You guys remember, you guys have burned some spells yeah. earlier. So keep keep track of those. Yeah, I, I burned one of my second level spells. And a first level spell. I'm done. You're done? Okay. Can I go like full defense or? Um, like... no, because you're entangled. You you cannot do that while you're entangled. All right, it's now her turn, and uh, she says something before she goes. She's like, "Oh, we meet again. I must say, you two, the cage suits you. Animals such as yourself need to be behind bars, else you hurt us innocent ones." I won't be long now, as I have some matters to attend to. But I will leave you this. You and your friends won't make it out of here alive. I've made certain of it. Please enjoy your stay. And she now fires three arrows at Dragonia. Shot one. Miss. Shot two. Uh, 17. Miss. Shot three. Also missed. Three misses. Oof. Nice. Let's look it up, boys. Hmm. Well, I mean, it doesn't help that she has a minus four to hit with her bow. Unless she repaired it. It's only minus two to hit, not minus four. Oh, I thought it was minus four. No, it's it minus was, two. Uh, minus two. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, that, it's still broken. Orok, you're up. Uh, so, Josh, can I five foot step and cut? Dragonia loose and then shoot, or is that no no go? Yeah, you can you can still action. you can still five foot step per as part of full round actions. Remember that's how Kasha used to do her like five foot step and then maul people to death. So yeah, yes. you can't shoot though. You cannot shoot, no. but you could spend the whole turn cutting Dragonia loose. I shall do that then. All right, so Dragonia, you're now free. And can I ask? Yeah, you can talk. That's free who, action. Who who are you? What is your name? And what are you doing here? Uh, she uh she looks back and she's like. You, you don't know me. Uh, Screed must have not talked about me much. Then I'm disappointed in him. No matter. I well, he disappointed him. many people. He disappointed many people. She mm -hmm. she looks back. She's like, don't talk to him like that. Respect the dead. So are you, uh, Myra? Malira. Malira. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. She has to smile. Yeah. She's like, oh, so you have heard of me. Right. Well, yes, I uh, I seen the special locket that he wore around his neck with your hair in it. And uh, go ahead and roll a perception check as you uh, as you say that. Twenty-eight. 
25. You notice that she also has a locket around her neck. Exactly the same looking. Oh, so you still hold him so dear to you. Yes, I do. Learn some respect. All right, Cicatrix, you're up. Um, nice. <laughs> How far away are you? <laughs> that's like a like whole map. That's like ninety a feet. Map. That's a couple of feet. Um, I will cast. You're almost a third of a football field away. Hold person. No oh, person. God. Will negate. Will negates? Yep. What's my will save? Oh. Oh, okay. Probably fine. Uh, 14. Ooh, I think this one might be a 15. Oh, no! <laughs> Half the spell level. I have failed something! I missed all my attacks Wait. and now failed this. 10 plus half spell level, 11. Plus N. Oh, that's a 14. Oh, that means I exactly make it. Oh my god. <laughs> this half spell level thing is killing me. Uh, if, it's a, if it's one, it still counts as one. Yeah, it's a level two. Oh. Oh man, that would have was... been really good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, exactly made it. That makes me feel good. I get the little like tingly feeling inside me. I like that. <laughs> Pretty useless against these uh, higher level people. I mean, she is she is very high level. Kabor, you're up. What you got? Show me what you got. Cast magic missile. <laughs> All right, Jerry's just bopping her. He's not wasting <laughs> any chance. All right, three. Go ahead and roll another one. Two, so five total. Okay. Uh, you can tell she's very annoyed by this magic caster. Like... And she can shoot through people, too, so... Yes. Yep. Well, she could. Her bow's broken now. Mmm. Yeah. So Josh is very unhappy. I'm not I'm not going to say anything more about it. It is what it is. Dragona, you're up. Unless Kabor wants to move. No, I don't think he is. Are you moving, Jared? You are moving? Right, hold up. Where's Jerry? Okay, Jerry's doing five foot step. All right, yeah, you're fine. Dragonia, no, uh, no traps in that whole walk. Do you just balls the wallet? Yep. Paid off. What would you like to do? Um, uh, I'm just gonna move there and then. Uh, is that a double move for I'd you? Like... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a double move. I'd like to say. Hmm, Screed. That name sounds familiar. Was that that pathetic guy that we executed in True Now? Oh, oh she, God. She, uh, you can With tell that she gets like, extraordinarily at angry at that. Go <laughs> roll an <laughs> intimidation check on it. Look, oh, roll an intimidation check? Yeah. Um, f uh, 14. Okay, so she's, I was going to see if she, she got the shaking condition, but she's she's okay. But she is extremely upset. Were you going to say anything else? I think I cut you off. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to look back and say that to Orak and then look at her and be like, yeah, I remember he uh, he didn't look so good. I, I was just joining the group, but, man, he was missing an ear and his, his hair was burned off and we ripped his locket off and... Man, I I do remember him. Is is that the guy who you you hold so dearly? She she's very very upset, but she doesn't say a word. She just has her bow trained right at your face. Hmm, I can tell by the silence that you must have really loved and cared about him. I remember the note. I remember Orok reading the note that you had sent him. 
it's uh must be very heartbreaking to know that that he was executed in such a public manner and after you say that she fires an arrow at you uh 19 to hit <laughs> all right uh let's go ahead and do some damage here <laughs> Uh, I feel good now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take four points of damage. Okay. She shoots at you again. <coughs> uh, 29 to hit. Uh-huh. Seven points of damage. She shoots at you uh-huh. at time. 18 to hit. Uh... If we tie, you get it, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. Nice. Six points of damage. So that broken bow is definitely doing some work as the damage is significantly lower than last time. Okay. And she's Did I anger her? Yeah, she she's definitely got her eyes trained on you. Like she's really upset. I like it. Yep. This is gonna turn into a cat fight. (laughs) Walk her up. (laughs) Uh, can I five foot step in two shots or just have to stay put in two you, shots? You can five foot step in two shots. Yeah, five foot step is free with a full round action. Okay, so five foot step and two shots. All right, and you have precise, so you can shoot past Dragonia, correct? Of course. Of course. I wish I could do that again. Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. That is uh, go ahead and roll damage twice on Dragonia. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those are some <laughs> like, wow. horrendous rolls, though. Holy crap. Wow. You put me to shame. I, I hate myself. <laughs> All right, round three. Sick of tricks, you're up. Um, I gotta get closer. Yeah. Mhm. Don't do that. I think I'll go there. Okay. I'm still very far away. So Flaming Sphere would light the boat on fire, right? Yes. It's a shame. (laughs) I mean, you can do it. There's no stopping you. We don't have to finish the rest of the campaign. It's fine. Yeah, just kill us all. Yeah, Viking Funeral. It's good. It'll be a good way to go. Jared would like it. Well, if we sit in the water, then we should be fine, right? Uh... I mean, yeah, but the rest of the boat would go up. Yeah, screw him. <laughs> Kabor would jump into the fire. <laughs> um, I was born in it. Raised in it. <laughs> merely inherited it. So, so is misfortune the same as slumber? For 24 hours? Yeah. Yes. Did I? I did that on her last time, right? You did you gave me? You gave her the full armada. You know what you didn't do is shock and grasp. Just saying. That's true. That is true. I gotta save some of my spells for that. Um, Why would you double move? Oh, magic missile again? Charge? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Um, Would you like to say anything since everyone seems to be demoralizing her every turn? 35. I gotta figure out how far I can... I gotta move there. Yeah, demoralize her. I'm gonna... Call her stupid. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) What an insult. Uh, good boy, you're up after that <laughs> horrible tongue lashing that she just received. You should have said something like, Oh, yeah, I remember cutting off his ear. Could have, then she would shoot me, and I'd rather not have that happen. <laughs> With smart tactics, oh, I'm gonna shield. Go all in. bait shield. <laughs> Is debating what he wants to unleash upon her. Magic missile. No. Do flaming arc. I don't think bring arc's range is that long. I don't think it is either. 
he could easily move within range. It's not like it's difficult. That's, that's true. You're not wrong. 35 feet is as far away as he can get. Oh, so he'd have to get in front of you in order to do it. Yeah, I'm chilling at 35 feet. Yep. Do it, bro. Flaming arc. Flaming arc. Flaming arc. Flaming arc. Do you have another magic missile jar? Rainbow arc. Rainbow arc. Yeah, he has, he has another magic missile. I'll just use that. Cast magic it. missile. Yep. Yay. Good <laughs> job. Jerry's just like a magic missile or to death. It's working. Who will run out first, her health pool or Jared's magic missiles? <laughs> I think he gets like six of them or something ridiculous. Uh, go ahead and roll 2d4. 2d4 plus one. So three. three. Do it again. Nice. Four, so seven damage. That's pretty good. Yep. Chipping away. All right. Dragona, you're up. All right. I will take a five foot step. Yep. And I will throw my wonderful sword up in the into the air and attack her. Uh, okay. Go ahead and do a, uh... Was that Hold a... on, I always forget what, uh, what you add. Is it a ranged attack? Or does it count as add a melee a attack? No, it counts as a ranged attack. Okay, so, so I add dex. my dex. And... Yeah, BAB plus your dex. Well, it's wisdom instead of my dex. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Because it's your special ability... Fucking Christ. Nice. Dude, just like last combat, she still got it. Jesus. All right, it's now her turn. And uh, three more shots at Dragonia. Shot one. Natural 20 critical threat. Rolling to confirm. 26 what to did confirm. You say? Critical threat. 26 to confirm. It's broken. You can't confirm. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no. Is it you, you can't confirm or it's minus two? Or you can't crit, or it's minus two. I forget. I'll look it up. Broken. Yeah, you crit like three times last battle, so... You gotta figure this one out. It's broken, right? Uh, yeah. No. It, critical, <laughs> yeah, only critical hits on our natural 20, which is what I got. And it only deals times two damage instead of a times three, which sucks, because this is a times three weapon. Yeah. So you still, you still crit? It yeah. was a natural 20? Yeah, it was a natural 20, okay. and then a 26... To <clears throat> okay. Go ahead. Uh, it's only times two damage instead of times three, so it's not new. And the damage is lowered. Gotcha. Only ten damage on the crit. Okay. All right. Shot two. Uh, twenty-two. Okay. And three damage. Shot three. Okay. Uh, shot three is a horrible miss with a twelve. Okay. All right. Are you still standing? Yep. Or oh. you up. Sweet. Um, can I five foot step into the water? It's, or no? It costs double movement to go into the water. So be ten. So you cannot. Feet. Yeah, you cannot five foot into it. So can I go like that and just shoot once? Yep. Absolutely. We'll do that. We'll do that then. All right. Go ahead. Why are you going into the water? Because I can't shoot two through you guys. I can only. Th I think I can only shoot through one person. Yeah, if you have uh, if you have improved precise shot, you can. Oh! oh! <laughs> Roll to confirm. Here we I go. I gotta chub you right now, guys. Woo! Good luck with the confirmation. That's all I gotta say. Twenty. Oh! Oh! What's your What's your total? Plus eight. So twenty four. That is a confirmed yeah. critical. Yeah. I think so. <clears throat> I think so. Hang on. So plus my BAB is four. Plus my dex is two. Plus my bracers, which is one. And um, 
So seven. Sorry, twenty three. Still, 23. still a confirmed critical. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do it. Is that bro. triple damage? Uh, I do believe yes. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. I'm pretty sure all <clears throat> standard bows that aren't crossbows are triple damage. So is it three d eight then? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Yep. Plus your dex mod on each shot. Okay. Nice. Oh, Ooh. geez. 22? Plus, plus six. Yeah, plus six. 25? Yep. And you okay. shoot her right in the heart, and she kind of like grasps this arrow. She's like, you can see like blood start to cough out from her, of her mouth, and she kind of drips, and she's holding on to this arrow, and she's like, uh, how I ironic. And she falls over and dies. Yeah. Whoa! And you have oh successfully killed her. Yeah. Jesus. Get bent. Well, she did. I just want to say, I had one help left. <laughs> yeah, I was about to heal you with a wand. <laughs> yeah, she. She, uh, she, she only. Up. She only had uh, thirty-three health at the beginning of this fight, which is l almost like half of her total HP from since you guys went, wounded her so bad. I don't but, think we're out of it yet. But she's I'm gonna dead. Go loot that body. I'm gonna loot that oh, body. Oh yeah. Uh, well, first, before ten feet in front of her, you step onto a trap. So go ahead and roll a reflex save. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're 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 stuck right here. Does one point of damage. No damage. You fall unconscious. <laughs> you are at one HP, right? Yeah. No, yeah. It, I should have made it a damage trap, but I didn't. So yeah, you're fine. You spend some time not untangling yourself, and you're good. Okay. All right. So you guys want to all come up and I check out her ready. body? Yeah. I'll check out her body. Trap. <laughs> okay. Let's see what she has. All right. She has a broken plus one longbow. Whoa! 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 Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! To what? Let me. I gotta get my inventory out. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Take your time. That's good. I can actually read what she has here. Okay. Okay, so a broken plus one longbow. Okay. Uh, with your blacksmithing, Andrew, you might be able to repair that. Cool. Um, two wands. Huh? Two wands. Not just you one. You don't know what they are? No. You have to, you'd have to do spellcraft on that. Well, one's an invisibility wand. We know that. Uh, two vials of something you don't know. It's like an orangey red color. Probably poison. A mithril chain shirt. Oh, hey. Nice. A masterwork short sword. Hmm. Uh, her locket, the true love locket. Uh, and if you pop it open, you see a picture of Screed. Uh, with a little bit of his blonde hair inside it. Thieves' tools, a water skin, 104 gold pieces, and a potion. Hmm. I'm assuming if any of those were healing things, you would use them. A skin? A water skin. Water this is what Andrew had. Like yeah. It just it just holds water. Hold water. Yeah. Nothing okay. fancy. All right. So who wants to? Uh, Jerry, do you want to go ahead and roll a spellcraft check for me? Justin, you can do it too if you have it. Yeah. All right, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a eight. Looks like it's just water in there. You know, with that eight, you're actually you can actually deduce what the potion is. Oh, really? Man. Yeah. Is it eleven, Jared? All right. So you guys can only tell what the what the potion is. It is a potion of cure serious wounds. And she didn't drink it. Well, she was going to on her next turn, but she got crit in the face. So. Oh, nice. I don't know. A week. What did you say? The potion is serious wounds? Yeah, cure serious wounds. It's 3d8. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, and you you have the two wands here. You're pretty sure you know what one is. Invisibility wand. 
Yeah, but you're you're not sure, and then you have no idea what the other one is, and you have no idea how many charges each one has. We're gonna have to find someone. That or level up, and you can do <laughs> it. you can recheck it. Yeah, you now have this. Andrew, did you have a long bow or do you have a short bow? I have a long bow. Okay, so this is this is a plus one long bow. I remember why I said plus eight though, because my aspect of the falcon was still going, so it would have been a plus eight. Okay. Uh, so it could be a plus nine now with the new bow. Just mm-hmm. saying. Yeah, it's plus one to hit and damage. Nice. But you have to have the strength thing for it. Yeah, he has the strength for it, so it's okay. What about the uh, mithril? What? A mithril, mithril shirt. Mithril chain it's a, shirt. It's like a light armor, light medium armor. Yeah, I forget what the mithril what mithril does. Uh, what were you gonna say, Justin? Do you have to have like a special requirement to handle that short sword? Uh, no, I think it's I think that's one of the weapons that you can just use free willy nilly. I think it's like a simple. It's a simple. Yeah, it should, should be yeah, simple. Yeah, so if you have proficiency in simple weapons. Which I think you do. I think everyone does. That's why they exist. Then yeah, you could use it. And it's masterwork, so it's plus one to hit. Yeah, that'd be pretty good for you then, Justin. Yeah. What is it? A masterwork short sword. Masterwork short yep. sword. So you can you can look up the damage. I'll have to do it later. So a chain shirt it. is light armor. It gives a plus four. Yeah, um, I can't find what mithril is though. Me neither. Mithril. Okay. Bone. No. Blet. Dragonhide. Garanite. Ice. Oh, I'm a- Mithril. Uh, weapons or armors fashioned from Mithril are always considered masterwork quality. Uh, it weighs half as much as normal. So, Mithril makes it weigh half as much as it normally does. So a chain shirt sure, normally wears way. normally weighs twenty five pounds. This one only weighs twelve pounds. Holy man! You can sell it for a you thousand can, gold pieces. Yep, you can sell 1, it. One thousand one hundred. Sick of tricks, probably. You can give it to sick of tricks, probably. Yeah. I don't know if I can wear it's, armor. Yeah, it has arcane uh, spell failure chance. Twenty percent. Anybody wear light armor? I think I do. I think I wear light or medium. Uh, this what, is... what are you wearing now? Yes, uh, it's plus four. So what's your armor give you right now? I think it's plus four, so it doesn't make a difference. It weighs less and it looks cooler. It's a bow. Nah, I'll stick with my uh, tough leather armor. It's okay. fine. Uh, but you guys can hold on to it and sell it. It doesn't weigh that much. But you guys have successfully killed Malira. So it's a chain shirt, so it's light armor? Yeah, it is light yes. armor. Okay, so it doesn't really help me. Well, you're wearing the fancy armor anyway, so... The, the get big armor. Oh, yeah, that's true. So it right. doesn't even matter. So what do you guys want to do? You guys want to finally go sleep? You guys want to do something with your body? Uh, Sigatrix, do you want to... Wink, wink, and show... uh? Gosh, knock what you found. The body? <laughs> I was thinking like an ear, maybe. <laughs> we just take the whole body. Okay. Do you want me to carry it for you? I don't know how strong you are. You do. Uh, I, mean, I, I, I could levitate it, but yeah, it would probably be easier for you to carry it. Okay. It would be pretty intimidating if I levitated it, though. I mean, that would be pretty... You can levitate it once you get in the room. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty Ooh. boss. That might, you know, I don't know. It would probably just be easier if you just dropped her at okay. their feet. Sure. All right, so you guys are going to take it all the way up to, to Gashnak then? Gashnak, or should we take it to Halrex? You can, you can go get her. Maybe you could just have everybody, well, just think... Tell Goshnock to, you know, the captain needs help or something. I don't know. You just bring it up there. Okay. All right, where do you guys want to flop her? I'll put her there. 
Probably teacher. not on the table. Jordan! Like, we should probably, like, do it up on the deck somewhere, right? Well, go ahead and move yourself, and I'll just put her right next to you, wherever you are. Okay. Unless you want to, like, do it down here, but it'll probably be easier up here. I don't know, we can go wherever. I don't know why, but my my roll twenty is like glitching out super hard. Mine mine was giving me errors earlier too. Like it's not letting me pick up my person right now. So, Josh, where, can where you do you want to go? Yeah, I, you just shoved yourself off the map. That was interesting. Where do you want to go? I could still move you around just fine. Give me a ping right here. Right there. Yep. Okey doke. All right, so what do you want to do when you guys are up there? Crew, I think we should tell the cap or tell uh, Howrex, show her what's going on. Go ahead. No one's stopping you. Okay, so is this door unlocked? It is indeed still unlocked. Okay. Is this one unlocked? Also unlocked. That one's open too. You can see right in there. Okay. Can I just like, uh, like very like polite, like knock on the door? Yep. And uh, you can see you can see like how Rex is like panting and she's like her she's like looking over the side. She's sitting on the bed with her like her elbows on her knees and like holding her head up. And uh, you can see that Krothu is still like rubbing this soothing ointment all over. The very unconscious blood tusk. They're just kind of just sitting there, exhausted. Hey, uh, Halrex, I, uh, I think we found the culprit of the whole situation. She's like panting. D did you now? She's actually outside. If you'd like to see her. Okay. Okay. And she gets up and she starts following you. She looks over there and she's like she looks at this heart and she's like, uh, did you uh did you all do this? Uh well, she kind of forced her hand. Uh she uh she looks at you and she's like, Oh, I it's it's no bother. I'm I'm glad it's it's done. And she looks she kinda of like kneels down, and looks at her like real close. She's like, I've never seen this woman before. Who was she? She was a... Uh, Hmm. What's your bonus? Uh, eight. So eighteen. Yeah, you you're pretty sure that she's telling the truth, and she has never seen her before. Okay. Uh, she was Screed's lover. He was the guy that wreaked havoc all across True Now. Hmm. One of many I've heard. She uh, also had a python in the basement too. If you want to go see that. Now we've had enough snakes on this ship. Trust me. And then uh, she looks at you and she's like, "What does, what does her being in cahoots with one of the attacks on True Now have to do with you all and this ship? I don't understand." I think she was trying to seek her vengeance upon us. Did you kill her, her lover? Uh, he was uh, executed. In public. By your hand? No. We uh, turned him over. Ah. So there's the connection. Okay. We captured him and, we captured him and turned him over to the authorities. And they publicly executed him. Interesting. Well, lucky for, I guess, the rest of this crew. Tomorrow we should be arriving at your destination. We're obviously quite a few hands short. But with our skeleton crew, we should be able to... Do float our boat over there. Uh, if you all would like to rest for the evening, uh, I'll successfully drop you off at Ghostlight Marsh in the early morning. And uh, we'll wait for you until you get back from your from your journey. I think we owe that to you after this discourse of a day. Well, 
Alex, thank you. I know uh, we weren't painted in such good light earlier on, but I'm glad we were able to recover what uh, bit of dignity we came upon the ship with. Oh, it, is, it is not your fault. It was, it was the evil that was sown upon this ship. Chaos was born, and gladly it is now dead. I will see you all in the morning. Can I uh, stay back and talk to her for a second? Yeah. You kind of like hint at the other guys, like, "Hey, I'm gonna hey, yeah. stay here for a second. Hey, quick, quick question: Six tricks. Are you, are you, or Justin? Are you gonna talk to her about Goshnock? Yeah. Okay. I was just about to say you might want to mention that to her. Yeah, I am. Okay. Cool. So continue. Hey, you guys gave he gives you like a nod as you guys walk past. It's like the confirmation of like, yeah, I got this covered. So you guys can walk on out of here. Jared will move you. All right, what do you want to say to her? I just hey, want to be like, hey, what? before you start, should do you want do you want us to go check on Gashnok, or do you want to do it yourself? Yeah, they, I mean, you guys can. Okay, okay, so we'll cut to you guys in a second. So let's do this conversation first, and we'll cut over to you guys talking to Gashnok. Do you want to go into the private room, Justin? I mean, I, I guess we can. I don't think it's that <laughs> no one's important. There. It's actually more private out here because uh, Krothu's with... No, I meant in Discord. No, no, Discord. Oh, yeah. You, I, we can private chat, Justin, if you want. Sure. All right. This is fun. All right, to Electric Boogaloo. Okay, what would you like to say to her? All right. Um, I just want to ask her if she, you know, has talked to Gosh Knock since the event... I no, I've been I've been working with the captain to keep him stabilized. He is his condition was more severe than we anticipated. Uh unbeknownst to me, Krothu is quite skilled with herbal medicines and was able to help me keep him alive. Uh, yeah, so, he helped the entire crew. Yeah, I I'm surprised from him. He's usually very quiet. But uh I really appreciate his help. Why? Is he uh you think he's the part of the culprits for this? Well, he did it, but he was very, you know, he was in hysterics. I kept asking him, you know, why he would do it. And he said we were all in danger and he's doing it for her. But he wouldn't elaborate on who her is. So I don't know if it's this woman here or if it's someone that she was threatening. Does he have any, like, family or anything? None of us here have much family. Just the ship. That's why we're so close. So... I do not understand Maybe that's who this her is. It could be the ship. Possibly. I am i don't know. He didn't seem very keen on us as people. He just kind of kept to himself in his weird ways, as I'm sure you know, being in there with him. Yeah, he was, he'd was he been in a mood recently. She, uh, and then... Yeah, she looks... As you're saying that, she like kind of looks down at Malir's body, and she's kind of staring at it. So go ahead and keep going. Yeah, I think... She threatened him and forced him to poison everyone or something. I don't know if it was entirely his, but I don't know. There's just something off about him. Well, uh, let's go talk to him real fast, shall we? Yeah. All right, so let's go back in the other room. All right. Okay. So let's cut to Kabor and Dragonia talking to... Gosh, knock. Justin, we'll do what Aura, I said in a second. Us? Yeah, where'd Orc go? Andrew, where are I you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Where's your pawn? Your pawn's in the middle of the water. <laughs> where? I'm going to show you where, where this is. All right, everyone scroll down to the very bottom where you guys just fought Malira on your map. Yeah, where is he? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> what are you what doing, you're doing down button? there? Right, so are you in there too with them? Yeah, can you just zap yeah, me I, up there? Yeah, I just need you up there. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Okay. All right, so Justin, we'll do what I said in here in a second, but we'll let them okay. converse for a second first. All right, so what do you guys want to say to him? Dragonia. Um, can I just do a... Uh, or I do a perception check just to check and see his mood. That'd be a sense motive if you're going for his mood. All right, I'll do. I'll 
I'll do a sense motive. Okay. Because I get a plus eight. Uh, so 20 or 14. But yeah, and I got an 18. Do you have any bonuses to your sense motive, or? Uh, oh. I don't have it checked, but I have three wisdom. So, so would yeah, it be? That's fine. Okay. So use it. So 21. Yep. I don't think sense motive is a starred ability, so you don't need to have um, it. No. Not. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a sheet on me. Okay, no, so you can tell that he's just like, his mind's like cracked. Like he's losing his mind. Was Malir, was Malir the one? Uh, when you say when you say her name, he stops everything. Like stops crying, stops sh like shaking about, stops saying anything, and just looks up at you like super slow and creepy like a doll that's getting animated. And just stares at you. And he says, what did you say? You. What did you say, Andrew? I, I didn't hear that. I said, I said you heard me. And he looks at you and he's like, don't say her name. Malira. Don't say her name. Malira. And he, he kind of stands up and he's like eye to eye with you. He's like, do not say her name. <laughs> Malira. And he grabs an onion and throws it at you. <laughs> Kabor, do a sense or do a uh, detect magic or spellcraft or whatever. All right, so you Justin, see Justin uh, how Rex and you come walking in. All right, uh, I'm gonna move. So I'm gonna move you over five feet so we can squeeze in here. Yeah. Okay, so we come walking in right when uh, this onion's getting thrown at him. All right, continue. So, what was so special about Malira? And he he's just standing he's just standing there stupid cold face and then Howix is like, "Gosh, knock. What what is the meaning of this? What is going on?" And uh, he he does he doesn't even like turn to face or anything. He's just staring at Orok. And he's got a potato in his hand, and you can tell he really wants to throw his potato, but it's his precious potato. And he doesn't want to throw it <laughs> at the same time. And he just and he just stares at him and he's like, "Do not say her name." Malira. And he throws a potato at you. <laughs> Harax once again is like, Gosh, knock, what's the meaning of this? And he finally turns to her. And he just stares at her and he's like, Meaning to what? And she looks at she looks at him and she looks at you all you four and she's like, H Have you told him? Have you told him? I don't think so. I have told him what about his pl precious Malira. And yeah, you see, Goshnak turn around again and th he throws a tomato at you. <laughs> How I put a fucking arrow through her face! <laughs> oh God, Jesus! <laughs> he's just he's just it was through a heart, but yeah, he's just uh <laughs> he's just standing there and he's like, what? And then right before you say anything else, you see uh, how she's like, Goshnak, come with me. And uh, she kind of she leads you back over to the body, and he's like waddling behind. Uh, he he does have a potato in one hand and a tomato in his other hand, just for the record. <laughs> he grabbed one each hand. Uh, you guys can follow them if you want. Okay. I, do. Uh, I know yeah, you can move himself, so I'll move him for you. <laughs> I'll let me take the body and act like she's still alive. Well, okay. <laughs> she's floating. She's floating with horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> and Harox is like, "What is this?" <laughs> just, just, cast, just, just cast animate dead. <laughs> and right. Goshnak sees her limp body there, and as soon as he sees it, he like comes running up to her, and like puts his hand on her, and he starts crying profusely, just sobbing. Mm. So she was the one that he liked. Harox looks at him, and she's like. What is the meaning of this? And he just is crying profusely. Uh, I mean, I guess we can give him some time. So you what time? What time does he need? He's, he's I don't just know. crying. Some time to mourn. 
cast cast bitches stop crying spell. <laughs> All right, I will cast shocking grasp. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and he's now unconscious. No, just kidding. <laughs> So he, 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 he's just sitting there crying, and you can see like him crying profusely, and like the tomato in his left hand is just completely squeezed through, so his hand's just like pasty red, and the tomato is kind of mushed in, so it's kind of like squished around his fingers, and uh, he drops them both and just kind of flop onto the deck. And he looks around at all of you, and uh, he turns back around to Orok specifically. He's like. You did this, didn't you? Didn't I just tell you I did? I have now seen it with my own eyes. I am disappointed in you, Ken. And he uh, he pulls out this little thing of meat that he had like in his back pocket. Like this gross piece of meat. Uh, go ahead and roll a reflex save. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, that could be poison too, so. Probably is. Alright, so he goes to like slap you in the face with it, but instead he just completely <laughs> misses and he throws it off the deck. Like right into the water and just, like, <laughs> so it plops into the water. And you can you can tell he's disappointed in himself. And he, he kinda of stares down for a second, he's like I I I am no fighter. I, I know this, but I will get you back. And Howax is like, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, no, no, you will not. Uh, <laughs> and she looks, she looks over at you two, uh, specifically Dragonia and Oroch. She's like, um, were you guys let out of the cage downstairs by chance? Uh, <laughs> let out is such a loose term. Ah, so you let broke, out by a missing bar. <laughs> so you broke out then. We uh, bent one of the, um, bars and escaped that way. That that's fine. Thank you for telling me because now we cannot put him in there. But I have I another can idea. Bend, I can bend it back into place for you if you like. Well, what's to say that he can't get out? Well, he's a wimp. I have a new plan. Okay. And she takes him over to the mass of the ship and ties him up. <laughs> so he's tied nice. around the mass of the ship, like on his butt. Oh, so he's what? sitting down and he's tied to the mass of the ship. And he doesn't fight back or anything. He just stands out, stares out into space. Remember, it's still raining. You guys recall, it's, it's been pouring rain. So he's just like sitting out in this mass. There's rain splashing everywhere. And uh, Harax looks at him and he's like, you will, you will sit here and think about what you've done. We'll talk about this in a day or two. And she kind of gets pneumonia away. and dies. <laughs> and she looks at you, you all and she's like, get some rest. We'll speak in the morning. And she leaves her body. She leaves Millard's body just sitting there in the rain. She like doesn't even do anything. Just walks right by it, cold as stone. Cool. All right. Is there anything else you guys want to do? Uh, no. Just kind of want to. Let's go check on uh, the captain one last time before we leave. Okay. Sure. You guys can walk in there. Just as a courtesy thing. Just check and see if we can do anything else to help. Yes, yeah, so when you get in there, you can see uh, Krothu is just like, you know, real tired and stuff. And he's like, "Oh, I appreciate I, I appreciate y'all coming in here, but the captain just needs his rest. I think I think he's in a stable enough condition that he'll make it through the night. Although I'll stay here can, and keep an eye on him. Can we tap him with our wand? Sure. I mean, yeah. It, remember, this is a poison, so he didn't take any." actual damage so one won't do anything no oh, okay but if you want to waste a charge i'm all for that no i'm good okay is there anything else you guys want to do no all right so uh rest you all can go up in the bunk when you get up there you see that everyone who was unconscious has been put back in their beds the beds are shipped bare, though. There's, like, no linens or anything. They're just kind of, like, knocked out there. And... Let me move Orok. And everyone else has been placed in their beds or is assisting somebody else. But everyone looks super tired. Like, the crew is not going to be good for the next day or two. So, 
Good thing you guys are getting off because they're in no condition to do anything. All right. So you guys want to rest up for the night? Are you guys doing watches or anything? How's that going to work? I'll do second watch as usual. Okay. Do you going to do in first watch? Yeah. Do so you guys want to uh... blow any heal spells before you guys rest? Remember, you only heal your level plus your con. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll blow I'll blow my spells. Okay, I'll move you back. And I'll blow my blessings too. Yeah. Can I just? Well. I mean, I do. I have to like roll or can yeah, you roll just them. say that. Roll them all. Gosh, this is gonna be so much rolling. Well, until everyone gets to full, you could roll like one, oh, one, 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 just... one, 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 and then you guys aren't at full health. I need to do, uh... Hold on. Alright, so we'll just. Who all took damage? Me, I'm at 25. I think I'm the only one who actually took a lot of damage. Yeah. Kabor, are you back at full? Yeah, I think I think Kabor's at full. Are you at full, Justin? Yeah, I didn't take any damage. Okay, so it's just you two. <laughs> Aren't you at like one or something, Dragonia? Yeah. You've been crawling around all so, day at 1 HP. Add, add 12 to yours, um, Rock. Alright, cool. Now I'm back to full. Alright, so I won't make you roll anymore because I think you can get yourself back to full. I was going to say, I can just blow all my blessings. Yeah, and we'll just assume you, like... you heal up. Alright, okay. it is now the dawn of day 6, the last day. When you guys get up, you see that the only person who's not in his bed is Urug. And Kroth is not here, obviously. Everyone else is, like, in a deep slumber. You guys, uh, you'll need, you'll need, uh, somebody to, Krothu, actually, never mind, just go out on deck and you guys can see what's going on. We'll just do it that way. It'll make it easier. Andrew, where are you want to uh, do you want to do a perception, you want to do a perception check in the room before we leave? Yeah, you can. Ooh, hot diggity. Uh, I'm just looking for anything un, like unnatural in the room. Anything uh, ordinary. No, everything seems everything seems exactly where it was last night. You don't think there's any intrusion whatsoever? Okay. All right. So, where what positions do you guys want to go to? Uh, there's no oh. cook anymore. Although you guys will be leaving in the early morning, so cooking might not even be necessary. Turn the light back. All right, Andrew, where do you want to be so I can move Orok around? Uh, so I want to talk to him about the herbs. Sure, you can be there. Do you want to? I'll I'll sound, I guess. Do you want a crow's nest? You can sound if you want. I mean, yeah, mainly the horses are going to be pulling you, so sounding's not really important anymore. Uh, okay, then I will. So I don't have to row either, do I? Nope. Because you guys are going upstream, I... so the horses are kind of pulling. Uh, guess I will. Yeah, I guess I'll try and crow's nest. I guess that's fine. I'll just assume you get up there. Let's not waste time with. So if the horses are pulling, then there's not a reason for me to be in here. Well, he's he's still setting them up in the morning. Uh -oh. So he's like getting them all. He's got most of them out on onto the riverbed, but he's still pulling a couple out. So he's there. If you'd like to talk to him, I would. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so I was just wondering how you knew about all the herbs that could make an antitoxin. So uh, he's like working with the rains and stuff. And uh, he looks over to you and he's like, uh, a long while ago, I was the medicine man for my tribe. But things went south and... I have not, I have not practiced my skills in a very long time. They were uh, very impressive. Is there any knowledge you could give me, possibly, about how I could work on that? Yeah. So he uh, he looks at you and he's like, "Yeah." So I deduce that the poison that's affecting everybody is the tranquilizer that was working on the Gurion. 
And uh, knowing that, I knew a few things that would work as an anti-paralytic that would potentially stop his organs from freezing up and failing. And he explains to you the herbs and stuff that you need to do this. Now you guys have the know how you, now you know how to make the antidote to tranquilizers. Cool. That's all he does. And he's working on getting the horses out. So where do you want to be? Are you going to start your profession? Uh, uh, I, mean, I don't know. I just thought it'd be useful to have. Yep. I mean, you can start it. This is the yeah. last day you're going to be with them, so. But he'll, yeah, be, he'll, I mean, be, he'll be here when you get back from your Mars journey. Oh, yeah. Because we have to go all the way back. <laughs> yeah. Or do we? Uh, I won't say. All right, so Orok's up top looking out. Um, if you recall from what Silvermane and Halgra said to you way back in the day, he said, look for like the ring of thorns carved in a rock on the shoreline. That's the, mar the entrance to the marsh. That is like the closest to where you need to go. So that's what you're looking for. Everyone else is just about deck, you know, helping the horses move around and stuff. Um, check on the captain. Uh, Halrex is up in the captain's steering area since she's now in command since Blood Tusk is unconscious. All right, I need uh, I need a perception check from our bird's eye view. And a Drake comes. <laughs> no. <laughs> 19. Uh, you get plus two while you're up there, so it's a 21. Nice. So you guys are you guys are up there for a little bit, moving around deck and stuff, and you finally see that circle of thorns on a rock coming up on your left side. So port side. There she blows, port side. And uh, you, Halrex like, puts up her hand and she recognizes that and moves the ship over to the, to the side. And... Uh, you guys, you guys get there. I need everyone to roll a perception check for me. You'll get a plus two again since you're up top there, Warrock. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. So you guys, you guys notice amongst the reeds some, the two of you that rolled over twenty, some rustling, as if the reeds were like something was hiding behind it. Then all of a sudden you hear a loud whistle. And over the starboard and port side, you hear like a coom, coom, coom. As a bunch of orcs come popping out and climbing up onto, onto the deck of the boat. And we'll pick up next week. <laughs>